first. They took your family and your riches. Then they took your health and your pride. Finally, they left you to die. Good day and welcome. When there is nothing left. Thank you for joining us today. Die. You're having a great weekend so far. And uh, we're gonna play a bit of Conan starting early today. Please like, please share, please follow. Also, um, we'll pin that. There we go. And we'll put the pole up. Do I got sound? Hopefully, I got sound because I had to restart everything today. No. That you've chosen. We'll put up a poll what here. Activate. Come? And here we go. Probably turn that down a bit, eh? Wonder if it's picking up in the mic. Yeah, it seems to be okay. Down a bit, eh? Wonder if it's picking up in the mic. Yeah, it seems to be okay. All right. There we go, folks. I don't know where my... Here's the volume remote. There, that's perfect. Perfect, I tell you. Activate that co-op. Fire Devil, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. And we will start this stuff up. We're going to participate in the poll if you can, you guys. Hey, that co-stream thing is showing up in mine. Just tag up to three co-streamers. Well, there you go, eh? A good afternoon. A happy Saturday back to you. And good afternoon, or rather evening now, I guess. But, uh... Your message of the day. Hi. <laughs> Guess my server message of the day worked. So I built this giant thing here, a thing of a bopper, but I do need to go get some. Uh... Hey, what's this thing? Claws of the Harpy. Oh, we got a. Claws of the Harpy. Uh, gloves. I don't know what those do, but. That's pretty cool. So we got an extra item in this bench now. Um, I have to go get some power shards. Because uh, I'm at level 60 now and I can't level up anymore. So I have to do it via power shards. We can build more benches. We can build more stuff. Yeah, I can make this Eldarium Pick. Eldarium Pickaxe. I can also make an Aquilonian War Axe, which is star metal bars. Look at that base damage, 48. Bloodletter Short Sword is base level... 56. I don't know what the highest thing is. Bottom are 48, eh? There you go. But it opened up some things because I'm, I'm master level, epic level uh, of this stuff. But it looks like the short swords are the most damaging at 56. Although I found those things a little bit hard to use, but maybe. They wouldn't be too bad now. But they all require star metal. But we're going to have to figure out star metal still. Other than that, it's these battle axes.
Then we get into those star metal things. That's why we need the, the uh, points or whatever. Open up the bench. Let's have a look here. See where you're at. Rivets. Eight rivets. Yeah, I had to restart my computer a few times today. I had the power go out like three times. I had to figure out how to get everything uh, working again. Doesn't like that sometimes, you know. We'll go into documents here. I had my crafting list. I saved that up. There we go. Zeno, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. Yeah, there's fires and stuff. That's what the hydro company even said. Relating to fires. Yeah, if we get into them higher level swords, man. Higher level pickaxes and crap. We can make a katana, I think, can't we? See, some of them are four, 45 and some are 48. I think a mace would be pretty good too. Just a little bit higher damage, but... And I recently added um, a couple of things here, a couple of benches. My journey so far. Howard, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. You'll join a bit. You're downloading. Okay. I'll open a party so that you can join in whenever you want to. Because I'll have to find you. We can go collect XP by camping the thralls or something. Train up the thralls and train you. They got the Turtle Beach earbuds. Hey, Colleen. Don't I look stylish in these? Look at that. Whoa. Let's see here. We'll just start a party. Bunk. Bunk. It works. Looks like it works. All right. So I should make a list and check it twice of things I can craft and we got to make Howard some armor. Now if you're listening right now Howard this you could think about these things but you could see here's the different attributes as you grow encumbrance will help you carry stuff. So it's good to have some encumbrance. And I can make armor that gives you a little bit of a plus bonus. I got vitality armor right now, but um, there's different perks and attributes. Uh, I don't think accuracy is really that important. But, um, you know, some of this stuff like uh, um, that is for collecting thing materials. And some of that stuff's for health. Some of that stuff's for sprinting and falling and stuff like that so you just kind of figure out as you go if you want to do a lot of damage in combat strength and vitality if you want to be an archer although i find archery archering is kind of slow but if you want to be an archer kind of character accuracy is good um grit is good for you could see you know there's little bonuses for fighting so grit and uh, strength and vitality if you want to be a bruiser kind of thing. Um, and some encumbrance, of course, so you can carry the heavier armors and stuff like that. I'll go with a couple bars at least in the end. Um, 
But if you want strength armor, I can make you strength armor, which gives you a little bonus to that too. And uh, of course, there's different things. And then when you get into feats, if you're on this screen here, what's going to happen is it, this is the base screen, but if you hit the bumper, you can see this, you know, the breakdowns of those. So if you collect torch bearing, for example, the first one on the top, that opens up the ones below it that are highlighted for me. Or if you're going the other way, it shows you what you need. So if there's certain things you want to be able to build, um, you can do that. Now, uh, the building stuff, you know, you could, you know, you'll probably just get the basic building would be something to start with. You don't need to do a lot of building necessarily, but if you want to build, you know, you're certainly welcome um, to, you know, make a little side project here, for example. Um, if you want to even just get the basic, basic foundational stuff, I can upgrade it to tier three materials afterwards, you know? Um, but, uh, for example, that thing there is like just the platform. It could be built up a little bit if you feel like building. Otherwise you can help me collect materials and fight stuff and, and then we can build up our base. The only problem about building your own house, like separately from my base, which is our base technically is um there's something called the purge that comes along i have it off right now i should make sure that it is actually off but uh there's something called the purge and they come and destroy you um yeah it's off at the moment um and basically but you need it's a good thing once in a while you want to be able to defend against the purge and then it goes but i mean if you wanted to build even a house or something up there you can it's just the purge might come and wipe out your little project so that you know if, if you have it separate and then i'm trying to build this up uh putting the basic frame in right now with the low tier materials but the purge wipes this lower tier stuff out and the higher tier stuff needs a crap ton of rock and a crap ton of bricks which is rock and a crap ton of iron and stuff like that converted so what we want to do is we want to collect the thralls the tier four thralls ideally and then we put them on the wheel of pain and and then if we get the highest level thralls on our stuff then it makes it easier to build stuff and so forth but this is just the basic outline of what the, the you know part of the base will be i'm going to expand here a bit too um and then eventually we'll get more but making character nice you got i also that's a fast download eh but yeah basically that's that. I'll make you a guardian armor. That's like strength armor. I gotta go make some pads. Armor. Not that armor bench. Not that one. Where is the stupid armor bench? Can't remember where I put it now. There it is. Okay. We need five heavy pads. And when you form on the map, I'll, I'll come get you, of course. And we'll get you a battle axe, too, because that's the best weapon I can make without going into star metals and stuff. Light. ECDFGH. Heavy. There we go. Howard needs five heavy pads. That's five. And we will need that iron. Yeah, okay. Got some horns. Good. I got lots of materials. Uh, you can read the different religions and see what kind of interests you. Um, you know, I mean, if you don't pick Mitra or Decado, then, uh, you know, then 
you may be able to build us a temple eventually. In because I want to get all the temples eventually without us having to find the recipe. But um you know, whatever you like, we'll find the recipe anyway eventually. Because we'll be farming some bosses to get power shards anyway. Um Yog, Yog might be cool. Uh don't spawn the god on our thing. Because, you know, he he you lose control of him after sixty seconds. But uh yeah, I mean it's cool cool looking, but uh kinda of fun. You can eat people if you want. We we do collect a lot of body parts. I don't know if there's advantage, but there's pretty cool weapons that Yog. You get swords and stuff from Yog when you heard that temple. So I mean that might be nice. Um okay, we got the pads. We want to also probably reinforce your armor and make a weapons kit. So I need some twine. And I need some steel bars. Right. So basically, how to, you know, most time when you're, you see, if you go to the right here, a lot of it requires twine and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, but as far as feats go, you'll probably want to eventually grab the normal torch one so that you can make yourself um not the protected torches but just regular torches is that the one torch i don't know i don't think that's the one it's under survival here this one here eventually you want to get torch under survivalist you'll probably want to eventually get iron as well you don't necessarily have to get much above that but you know it's nice to be able to repair your own pick but I can repair them for you you'll see what you as you get stuff you know what you want to kind of build and you can always respec eventually uh, bandages are handy to healing wraps but um, got plenty of all that stuff And there's limit to the stuff you can get based on your. Um, right, yeah. So I made uh, I make some wine. I can't remember how much twine in fifteen or something. Like Twenty. Need some steel bars. Silver. We could go out of there. This oven in this particular spot always needs rocks and stuff like that because it makes a lot of coal. Um. Oh, we'll probably need to make you a um, bow as well. I can't remember how much steel bars I need. Tyler, thank you for liking, much appreciated. Getting pre I'm level 60 now. Taking the butts, taking names. So I need five of those. I can only make four. 20. I need five more finds, I guess. Hey Mark, how are you? All right, put that in there. Make one of these. 
And how much do I need? Ten. Ten steel bars for that. Takes 10 steel bars. We're going to make Howard's weapon do more damage. We only got 23 iron re or steel reinforcements out of all that. Crap, dude. Hard and steel bars only. Oh. Make him a Sumerian axe. Ready? You vote in the poll? That first alligator got killed. It was a sad day. Actually, almost all my thralls that I had in the at that first hut got killed. Yeah. Oh, uh, looking good. Thanks. Um. Okay, I'm designing Howard some armor and weapons here. We want... Not the st star metal stuff. Wait, what am I? I don't remember. I don't think the, the race of the character matters. It's, um... Oh, I don't know. The, uh... Does it say what I am? Probably somewhere where it tells you. Bats, maybe? The religion's the more important thing. It kind of impacts stuff in the game. But I can't actually remember what I picked. You can actually change all that stuff, too. Although I got a bear. Have I gotten a yeti yet? Nope. I got a bear and an, another alligator, and I had a, a level 10 thrall, and we went in the dungeon, and we got them, I got two of my level 10 and my level 6 thrall killed, so I have to re, rebuild them. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if you have to recreate even going into my game. Probably. And hold that. Move those around. Right. Oh, did I split that? Oh, did I take it? Must have took it. Then we'll make Howard a bow as well. And he can help me collect materials after to reimburse what I spent on on him on investment I got a hardened steel bow already so to... although I can add some damage to the point oh the east wow it's putting you way down there eh I I am northwest Sure, it'll probably teleport you in. anyway. Hey, Yod, how are you? It'll probably put you not too far away, to be honest. Because I think you can only be within a certain am amount or distance anyway. Eric, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. You're at the beach watching the stream. Nice. Are you formed in somewhere? Okay. All right. Was are you on a beach? Or 
Are you in the stone area or kind of at uh, on in dirt? Okay. Okay, let me come over there. Hungry Howes. Oh, that's Hungry Howie 555. So, invite the clan. Look at Hungry Howie. He got the biggest boobs ever. That's not particularly useful in combat, you know. Get hit in the face. Alright. Finish making these. Alright, so I'm just going to finish making you some armor here. I think we'll go with guardian armor because that gives you bonus to strength. Remember in Ark Night Ghost he joined the game and he made uh, um, the biggest boob character ever. <laughs> Alright. We're looking for Guardian. I know Guardian is. Or, well, you're um, a Yogg character. There's also, uh, uh, if you prefer, there's Guardian, which is kind of uh, metal ish, goldish armor. Or there's uh, the other strength armor is um, this one here. So you want to look more like kind of a, not this one, but you know how it's kind of goldish like that. Yeah, you just walk around in the game. You need some food. There should be some food in here. Uh, oh, no, there's no food in here. It's up in the upper area now. Sorry. You have to go up here. That's just my storage for some, some things on the go. I probably need food though. But yeah. so I got a weird route, but See, this is my one of my temples. This is the Mit Mitra temple. In here. All right, here's some raw foods. Campfire, do we have steaks? Lots of gruel. We'll make you some, uh, some food here. Back in here, we got some steaks here. You like steaks? I don't know what recipes it gives you access to, but. So steaks and spices. Okay. So in here, got some spices, I think. 45 spices. So I cook you up some steak. There's better foods, but you have to kind of. Um, so it's crafting 22 steaks right now for you. And then we got to keep the raw meat in the fridge. Yeah. Anything that times out, you, it goes bad after a bit. Oh yeah, we should make you a truncheon too. Alright. Truncheon eventually. Can knock out people. If you're ever desperate, the feral flesh here. Is that? Well, I didn't want to get hit in the face. 
Actually, you know, this, the, the whole story to Shakal Star is I played a game called Age of Conan, which is by the same makers. And uh, my character Guardian was uh, Shakal. So I kind of made this character based on Shakal a bit, except I went with white hair because the blonde I didn't think was very good. If you ever want to change your appearance, right by the, this is the Durketto one. Um, there's this table with the skull in it. That'll let you change your appearance. I'm on early. Yeah, I figured I'd get, get going a little bit on it. It's fun. Howard's playing right now. So we're building Howie some armor. So we can go with guardian armor. For now, I guess. Probably easy to find here. Guardian. Dark Templar, Guardian, 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 Guardian. Guardian. How was it last night? It was pretty good. I can't remember if we won anymore or not after, but they were fairly close most games anyway. Thank you for liking, much appreciated. Guardian, 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 Guardian. See? Now he's going to be named after the Cleveland Guardians. All right. <laughs> All your armor is called Guardian. That's the name. <laughs> Although these guard, this Guardian name was there way before the Cleveland team name was that. Guardians of the Conan Galaxy. So whenever you're collecting stuff, I don't know what abilities do you start with? You just press start then go over. If you ever need to look at my screen, it's handy this way. Just go to the right and see what you can make. Oh, I just meant under crafting. Press start and then go to the right. Oh, yeah, just in the inventory screen. Do you kind of look where I'm pointing right now? There's the crafting stuff. I'm just kind of curious what you started with. As long as it's not Toronto. <laughs> oh, you, you start with the water skin. Oh, okay. So there's a thing in here called the journey. You'll get like extra XP for satisfying those things. It's just kind of deep me the game. But basically, uh, Mason, thank you for liking. Basically, the main main thing is is that you know if you get the opportunity, grab the iron pickaxe as something you can build. Um, like not pickaxe, but the steel pick or the iron pick, because you'll find you'll use that a lot. It's also good to get a knife, uh, but um, uh, just press the, the guide button, I think, and then just select something. No? Oh, press Y or something. I don't know. I don't wind up going into that very often. Do you have any weapons or anything on you? Oh, okay. Select your stone pickaxe then. Hold, hold the bumper down and point at the pickaxe. No, like... Oh, okay. Oh, you got no materials or anything? Oh, okay. 
Oh, you just don't have anything at all in your inventory yet? Oh, okay. Yeah, you're just ready for combat. Yeah, it don't matter. They'll uh, we'll get you a pickaxe. And you'll be able to put a pickaxe in your hand. You'll be pickaxing. Pickaxing a lot of stuff anyway. I'll make you an iron one. Just. Iron hatchet. Iron skinning knife. Iron pick. They'll make that stuff in a bit for you. Building other stuff right now. Yeah. When you're fighting, by the way, here's the strat best strategy. Um, why isn't that act? All right, I'm just gonna put this in my hand. See how I'm selecting things in my inventory? So if you, once you have things in your inventory, if you wanna put it in your bar, you just hold the left bumper down and then you point out where you wanna put it. And then it's in your hot bar, right? And then to select it, just go up and point at it. Kind of thing, and you can always put it back if you point at it. Has a little hit point bar if it's like totally totally low it'll probably break soon so for example my axe is getting low but it's not quite low enough for me to want to waste iron repairing it yet but once it gets really low i, I need to repair it and then these are healing wraps and these are torches um, i'll give you a torch but you can see how you can switch between things i don't think you can access this but uh But if I uh, take this and I go up to the thing and press Y, then it'll drop it. Now you see on my inventory how there is above this bowl, um, there's a green bar right now. And you'll see that in yours too in a percentage. That's your how burdened you are. If that goes to 100%, you'll walk like you're in Fallout. So, and you can't dodge and stuff. So you want to uh, keep that down and that's where the encumbrance comes in handy because you can carry more the higher your encumbrance so I, I just dropped a bag with a torch in it and you won't be able to repair these until you've got the torch skill I think it will automatically put those initial items in your inventory but you can see how to light it as you hold up like that and make sure you put it away otherwise it'll just burn out and then we'll have to repair it you, know? you need it when it gets dark though um a good common strategy when you're fighting is you know say we're fighting something here blah 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 you hit them a couple times and then roll to the side kind of thing you know be into the side because a lot of times they'll they'll hit, they'll lunge forward and Let's see. Zigzag. Uh, if it's not in your inventory, if it's in the hot bar already, just hold the left bumper and then point at it. Oh, okay, if it's in the inventory, highlight it, like put the square above it, and then hold your left bumper, and then you'll put it down where you want it. And then once it's in your hot bar, you just, and then point at it. That's how you place items and stuff, too. You come up here. Your stakes will probably be ready. Uh, you'll see that little above or underneath my hit point bar. There's the water drop. That's how thirsty you are. You can also see it on on the middle of the above your guy here. Um, and then the mine's at 83. Food is at 84. And then my hit points and my endurance is yellow. So that's those things. You know, giving you a quick overview. This probably helps anybody watching. In this first chest here, like the one in front of me, 
Um, there's grab a healing wraps pack. Oh, the other one, the one. Yeah, I'm just straight ahead. There's some po there's some aloe potions that I made. So you can grab a ten pack. That's for a quick boost, really quick of health. If uh, if yeah, well the wraps are slower, right? So you, you know if there's something actively chasing you, uh, and you start wrapping, they'll just whack you and stop it. But if uh, you know you don't have aggro at the time, you can wrap do a healing wrap to get a bunch of hit points. The aloe extract is for a quicker boost. Kind of get away from somebody for a second. Um, this is our torture right here. So, in order to get thralls, we got to knock them out instead of cut them with our weapon. So, make you a binding and a, a thing. So, grab that club out of here. You can keep it in your inventory. It's not going to be unless you want to knock out a human. If they're a boss, like if they have skulls in their hit points, you can't knock them out. You can... Yeah. And grab that rope there too. The leather binding. Not silk, but... Uh, like the round circle thing. Yeah, because you got to drag them back to a wheel. At some point. Um... We'll, we'll eventually have it so that you have a second one and we all can do it. Um, we go up here. You need some of these here. The, this uh, like uh, Ambrosia gives you hit points and stuff too, but um, you don't want to weigh yourself down too much right now. You're low level. But this guy's done some stakes, probably. I didn't start it. Oops. See how you gotta press play on the thing? I forgot to do that. Oh. Yeah, the Ambrosia is some X some food if you if you need some. And then there's steaks in here. Uh once he's done making them. So these are just different benches mostly. You no, know, like, uh, I'll tell you when to throw stuff in a bench at first until you get used to it. If you ever get little, those little worms, you see how there's some worms in the fridge? Um, in, in this fridge over here. Um, I put them in there so they don't expire, but I have some fishing traps down here. So you could tell where the, you could see the fire lantern down there. Go outside the door here. That's where the fishing traps are. If if you so, we want to catch fish. We just throw a bunch of worms in these things, and then if there's if there's fish in it, you can see that there's fish in this one. Then we can use those for resources, kind of deal. Take them and. And we can make them into oil. So it depends what you want to do with, with different things, right? So if you have worms, sometimes you might use them for one thing. If you Sometimes if you want to make oil, you could throw fish in here. If you want to make fish sticks, you know, you can put them in the cook. Kind of deal. And it's the same thing, too. When you use a pick or you use an axe on a tree, it produces different things. So if I need bark, for example, you you hit it with uh, with a pickaxe. You need uh, uh, regular wood. You use a normal axe. Take everything out of the fluid press. <laughs> yeah, just throw it back in there if you want. Um, if you put certain things in there, it will destroy, it'll crush it down. So, uh, but if we want to make sausages, for example, you can take blood and make it at the campfire, you know? But, 
different different things produce different th results. Yeah, there's different things, and then if you look in here, don't take this stuff out because you won't you'll figure out how to get back in. But basically, if you put it in an item in the dismantle area, like say some crappy cloth armor, once I give you some armor, it'll break it down into its raw components. And then, you know, we can sometimes use them, you know, like a recycling bench. Um... This thing is good for creating different things. Once I upgrade it, I'll be able to... I don't know what it shows for you, actually, when you, in the recipe section. The sanctuary. Because you're not that skilled, but... There's different advantages and stuff. I mean, this guy done making the spicy steaks. Looks like it. So there's 22 cooked spice steaks in there that you can grab. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the raw steaks out and I'll just put them in the fridge again. Done making them. Well, no, I, in the in the cook, in the stove right here. He's done crafting them, so you can see there's 22 in there. Just be careful not to take everything. I'm going to grab that raw meat out of there. There's times where Y is helpful and times where... Yep. So you may want to throw your healing wraps and... You, you can do it from the inventory, but you may want to have the, the healing wraps and your potions in your hotbar. Because, you know, if you need them. And then, of course, uh, you need a drink of water. You can go up to any river or water, or you can go up to like a uh, fountain, the one in the fountain room here. These are just different benches for stuff in here. Um, like this is the advanced fire bowl. So it creates certain things for me that, you know, not a big deal, but, but you know, about them. Big, big one we deal with a lot is the armors and stuff. So your, it looks like your armor is built. So I'm going to just add the extra padding to them. Alright, they're purple in the bench. So it's main room... Kind of halfway down. Uh, if you're outside, you, it's I'm kind of in the room beside the big giant safe. Oh, okay. Just come down the, towards the other end of the island. So you can either go outside or through. You'll get to know it's kind of a semi maze, you know. The reason I kind of made it semi maze like is because, well, either I'm a bad designer or a brilliant designer. But uh, if we get invaded and they can and the enemies break into different areas, and it's not PvP, but if then you know it kind of spreads the damage out a bit. You can press uh, start and then left bumper to get a map. Left will trigger. But if you're by the cold fridge, if you just go towards like where the statue's pointing, you know, the front statue, then you'll be going the right direction. Yeah, so just. Go to the direction that he's facing. I think he's facing on this way. Are you in one of the rooms or outside? Okay. 
I think I saw your legs move. Here you are. Okay. So this is like one of the main rooms, you know, basically. So a lot of stuff you collect, I'm going to say put it in the fuel efficient furnace. If you collect stuff, you know. But if you go in here, press X to open it up. And then you'll see glowing five pieces of armor. What's up? I am on early tonight. And then, uh, see the five other pieces. Now, press B to get out of that. And then, uh, you can just press X on the armor to equip it, I think. On the different armors. Thank you for sharing. Much appreciated and liking. All right. So, uh, we can always throw your your old duds in the recycling bench that I was showing you at the top. Uh, I'm gonna check to see if the weapon is done yet here. Blacksmith. Yeah, looks like he's got some stuff done, but I'm gonna add some damage to it, so. We'll leave it in the bench for just a second. Um, I just got to get through to the tinker bench here for a second and then build a... Uh, what do I need? Oh, because of the armor probably? What percent are you at when you hit start? What percent though does it say oh okay so where are you right now you're still by the bench maybe throw your armor back in the bench for a second here because you're gonna have to gain a little bit of income unless you got points for encumbrance go to attributes start and then right trigger this is hungry alley And if you have unspent points. Yeah, and then see how where that puts you. Because I put heavy armor on you, but uh, maybe maybe we... Oh, okay. Throw your stuff in a, one of these benches for now. Um, maybe... Yeah, whatever. Put it in this improved blacksmith bench for now. Axeman stored a bunch of ice in here. Yeah, you can just press X on your... Or we'll make you some lighter armor. Yeah. Oh. But you know what it looks like? Is he always hungry? He's he's quite often hungry, yes. Alright, so light. Light padding. I need three twines and some hides. Five. Maybe we'll give you some encumbrance. Encumbrance light. I don't. I don't know which one encumbrance light is. So just take me a second to Google it. Encumbrance light armor in Ona. Ari, maybe? No. Um, exceptional. Bonus encumbrance. Alright, so I just gotta... I gotta find something that's... Light here for you. That's heavy. So... Maybe kitten or kitan. I'm not sure how to say that. And material. 
That's heavy. And captain. Medium. And mercenary. I wonder if that will work. Here. And. And mercenary is not on that list. Maybe Kari. Guardian. Guardians. And Imperial. Relic. In. Kari Raider. Was Kari Raider one of them? He doesn't tell me what bonuses these give me, right? So. Pictish. Maybe any Pictish one? B. B. Yamatai. I wonder if those ones work. Yamatai. Demon. Oh, that's medium. I wonder if medium would be too heavy for you. Yeah. I'll just make you a random one. I don't know. Or we can check. I, you know what ones are kind of cool is Assassin. So you'll you'll think it looks cool at least. It may not be encumbrance, but that's light. One, two, three, four. Five. These are DLC uh, armors too, eh? Maverick said he's always hungry too. He likes eating. I'm not gonna bother upgrading them. Cause you know the the heavy is the stuff you want to upgrade, but uh, heavy or epic. There you go. You got five pieces in there called assassin armor. I'm just wearing this armor actually because the NPC wearing it got killed. Yeah, well, yeah, because some of these benches are way right down. Yeah, it's just a little bit of learning at first. Oops. I even missed some time. Alright. Trouble is is when you wind up having trying to retreat and you can't move because your your guy's so heavy. Do not make pants? Oh yeah, there's one padding left there, it looks like. Maybe I ran out of supplies or something. Let me just see what... Uh, oh yeah, I'm a little bit short on hides there, so I have to go grab some hides out of another bench. Do you have any hides? I'm used to working with uh, the materials for the heavy armors, you know? So you can see like if you look on my screen 
in 10 seconds here when I get to it. Uh, you can see it lights it up, the items, if you have the items in the bench. Fast and leggings, that's the only thing you needed. Got the mask, arms. Okay. How's your encumbrance so far? Or your weight? Oh, okay, good. Yeah, they're the, they're in the bench now. And you know, you can get rid of your old clothes in that disassembly bench, so that'll take some weight away cuz we're going to add some weight with uh stuff. I'll be in there somewhere. Let's see if they're in there. The bench. <laughs> um, you might have to press the right stick down to sort by heaviest. Oh, are they in your hot bar by chance? All right, in this garrison bench here in the hallway, where I am, I put an ax, which is purple. Don't grab everything here, just be careful. But, yeah. Uh, there's a, a hatchet that's for cutting trees down. There's that too, yeah. There's a hatchet and a an iron pick, and there's a skinning knife. Put all that stuff in your hot bar somewhere. I like to put them in a, kind of the same area because it helps you remember where they are. Darkest rain. Thank you for stopping by. Much appreciated. Good afternoon. Yeah, you got to highlight in your inventory and then left bumper and. Then Put it down where you want. And then in this bench here. Thank you for liking. Much appreciated. This carpenter's bench, which is one to your right. I have uh, some hardened steel bows in here. You can grab a hardened steel bow. I don't know if that's too heavy for you or not, but. See, that's where you gotta invest in encumbrance and stuff because you won't be able to carry too much. It's in the carpenter's bench. If that's too heavy. The uh, Herkinen, light Herkinen bow is a little bit lighter, but it does half as much damage. Um, so if we go down here now. Going down the stairs. Where, where are you in here? Okay. Um, so I got some arrows in here. Also got a set of armor in here that I should give to the... Um, just take whatever the lightest damage armor arrows are. Like that's a decent sized package. Maybe, uh, what the flint head arrows would probably be good. It's only 10 pounds. Or you can even split a pack if you want to just take 50. Uh, 
you know, or 20 or even, you know, something like that. Just press the right bumper on one and choose split. And then, you know, that way you can take a pack that works for you. Um, when you're new, it, the flint head arrows might be a bit better for you. Kind of light, light there, colored arrows there, but. Oh, okay. Because ivory arrows are like pretty high quality. Because they're like heavy. Um, I think flint head arrows would be better for you to start with. And then later when we're taking on things that need to have higher damage, then we'll, uh, you know, we could switch up. You know, just break that flint head pack into like, you know, 50 or whatever. Iron head arrows, I think those work. I was thinking flint, but I mean, that's fine too. Iron head, iron head arrows are like one grade up, but that's okay. Yeah, we're just wanting to go with low grade while you're learning. Cause I can, I don't make these, I collect them, you know. And, you know, if we're going against something nastier, then we want to have nastier arrows, you know. But, you know, when you're brand new, you're not going to be going against anything nasty. So you got to put your bow into your hot bar. I have it on the top one. And then once you equip your bow, go into your inventory and press X on your arrows that you want to use. I think I have a crawl out here and dress it. Oh, it just grunts the first time. Yeah, you have to equip it out though. You have to pull out your your bow before you do that. Now you go into your inventory, point at the arrows, just press X and it should go boom. And then you'll know if you hold the right trigger. Now the thing is when you're aiming at something, if you hold it for a second, it'll use up endurance, but it'll glow a bit when uh, when you're ready to unleash a heavier shot kind of thing. Although, you know, like you'll find they'll start rushing up to you. That's when you quickly flip over to your, you know, your axe kind of deal. I could have sworn I had an extra thrall out here that needed armoring. But here we go. I'm just going to equip her up here. Barbarian chest plate. And see what I'm doing here is I'll equip her up with uh, stuff and automatically put into my inventory the her old clothes oops I pushed the wrong button there Now, mostly the reason we all have axes is because it's the highest damage item that, uh, where's the weapons thing? Oh yeah, it's in my room. So to collect materials, a axes and things, but if you see some bushes, if you want to collect fiber, um, you just go up to it and press X kind of deal. Or if you get like a scythe, you can do it later. I know where you are right now, but. Or yeah, okay. Yeah, go up to a bush, press X a few times.
and then you'll have some and then uh, I think what's the bedroll need it needs you go to start and then flip over to the bedroll find the bedroll in your crafting menu you'll spawn on me mostly but you know it doesn't hurt to have a home home bedroll don't put it out here though we're gonna put it by axe wings for now Uh, what's the regular bedroll? Not uh, using the hide. What's that one use? Oh, okay. So to get branch, just axe at a tree. Yeah. You're you're cutting axe, crafting axe. Hatch it. So you can see how you collect branches and, and that tree will reform later. And then if you need twines, does it, it said you need twine? Twines on your crafting menu as well. You use fiber to craft twine. So it's three fiber for, for twine. So however many twines it says you need. Oh, you follow me here. I have my... And don't get frustrated about dying. People, like, die constantly. So, the thing is, is you can pick up your stuff easy enough. Most time, the important thing is that I don't die, because then I get thrown all the way back to base but and then you guys get pulled with me if you die you'll just reform on me and then you just go grab your stuff real quick although sometimes the things will kill you a couple times although that's not the end of the world because I can collect uh, you know like parts for the temples you know and then I'll build somewhere so we can build a, a yog temple somewhere around here too I'm, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to get one of these dudes to follow me. So. Gets extra XP for them. Trains them up. They can only get XP if they're following you. So he, if we go over here. I, I just, to run, I press left on, down on my left stick. But well, you see it uses your endurance. Um, so here's our wheel of pain. If we ever drag an NPC into here, they use that gruel and then they, they get you push play and then they'll train them up. So, so that you know how that works. And you make gruel by putting seeds and fiber in a bonfire. And you can see this guy's following us too. But I'll do I'll show you collecting missions. You'll get pretty used to it pretty quick, I think. That thing over there is a pet pen if we ever get a pet baby. So Axeman just put, you know, puts lays down. Here's his bedroll. Just put yours somewhere around here. And then, you know, if there's supplies or whatever, I might grab from these supplies if I need them. But there's extra stuff if you need. You got to equip it just like you do other stuff. Sometimes you got to wipe out another item temporarily and then plop it down. And then if you click it again, it'll build it again. So cover it up again in your inventory or take it off. You know. Don't uh, keep away from other stuff like um, trees and stuff, though, because they won't spawn if you're too close to them. So put it over here with right about here somewhere. And, you know... Obviously, you won't want to normally be out here, but once I build you guys a bedroom and stuff like that in tier 3 materials, you'll be able to use it. 
So if you ever want to eat, you could just press X on it in your inventory, or you can equip it, but probably faster, just press X on it. And to drink, you just point at, point at the water and press X. Or to fill up your canteen if it's not full. If you're above water like this and you go to your thing and go to your canteen and press X, that'll refill it too. Sometimes you got to drink when you're not, not near it. Um, so as far as thralls go, the ones that are desirable are three. Here, you see how it has three there? Or the, or the ones that just say, it could be a name, but there's no skulls. And then you, their, their, their health bar is surrounded by yellow. Because uh, that's uh, name thralls, which are tier four. If we can get tier four, any thralls, it's good. So equip your axe. It's like that storm will make it dark here sometimes. And we'll just go get you some XP by killing a couple dudes. No, it doesn't matter. Thank you. You got you got pretty good armor on. You'll have better armor when you get to tier three. So. Mm, no, because they'll be focused on me pretty much, and then this guy will rip them apart too. So. I think you'll be all right if you don't run off, you know. And if you have a one-handed weapon, which is nice, you can you can equip your torch or your other thing at the same time. So if we go up to this deer, I I, I would pull out your axe if you can. What? Oh. No one. Torch, just point at the torch in your hotbar. So if we you come on each side of this guy here, and right triggers your heavy attack, and uh, the other one is like light, uh, is left trigger. And now if you want to go and use your skin skinning knife on him. So you switch to your skinning knife on your hot bar. Different things too, like if you use an axe on them, it'll collect different things. And then bananas. So you just point at it. Uh, yeah, you just point at it right here. Kind of look at it with your your pointer, and then use your your left bumper. And do it again till it's gone. Point at them again. So hit him again, he's still there, right? Yeah. There you go. So that's essentially how you skin everybody. If it's a thing that has uh, any goods on it, uh, you press X like you're taking it out of... out of whatever, you know? If you're encumbered, let me know and I can take the stuff too. That probably gave you some XP as well. It leveled up my, my follower. So, left bump or right bumper is your light attack, and right triggers your heavy attack. So, what a time! A lot of times, I'll go right trigger, then left left bump or right bumper, and then uh, uh, he's gone. You have to pretty much kill those things right away. So, I'll skin him this time. But I was just showing you how to skin, you know? So, there's like a base of NPCs just right up here. Now, you can't... Some You might as well put your torch away so it doesn't break. Because you can't repair it yet until you get that feat. And improvised torches suck. They break all the time, so. 
what I want to do actually sometime is I want to make a bunch of uh, torch stands and like you know the the cheapest torch stands, and then build a, a line of sight to a certain camp, and then uh, that way I can go back and forth. So basically, here we got a lot of this area is good for collecting metals. So what I'm gonna do is I'll pull one. They'll go after me for sure. And then, uh... oh, I missed. Oh, I missed again. Oh, you got him. He's gonna go after you though. Oh, he went after me anyway. Jerk. Get a hit on him. Again. There you go. You guys took care of Biz. So if you point at him, you can see he has like blue dye on him. Nothing great. But um, what I'm going to do is I got this one particular item um, for collecting stuff for, for upgrading our temples. So I'm going to hit him with that. I can find it. Oh crap, I, I have this for me. Um, oh, I have it in my inventory already. So this thing will upgrade our Durketto temple. So that gives me called a uh, uh, something like an essence thing. But basically, you hit them once with those items, and it gets you the temple items. And then, if you want to heal, if you did get hit, you're you're probably okay. But for example, for me, I got hit, so I could just go and point at my healing wrap, and you could you could see how slow it is. So that's why you don't want to be in attack being attacked when you. So. Essentially, that's the how it works here. Look at I just about killed her in one shot. And this bow does way more damage. So what I do is she'll come up to me. Basically, I'll hit her with my heavy. Oh, she's going to shoot at us. Just go whack her. She's going to go after me anyway. So you're using your light attack there. Does she have anything good on her? You can skin her if you want to take her hide. Yeah, I mean extra hide doesn't hurt. Just make sure you get if you get too encumbered, you let me know because then I can take the stuff. So I got four encumbrance. Forty encumbrance. Now the other thing you can do too is if we put our truncheons in our in our hot bar over here a bit before so they don't see us yet but you put your truncheon in your hot bar somewhere that's that steel truncheon thing yeah if you put that in your hot bar equip that instead and I'm gonna give it to the the dude here too so that they don't kill our target uh, so what I gotta do is I gotta actually give that to him and then take away the other one. So now if we pull like this boss, we'll knock them out instead. When this guy comes out. Now if it's a boss, if he has skulls, you can't actually knock him out. But, does this guy have skulls? Curse you. Okay, just, just kite him a bit. Doesn't have skulls for me. Oh, he does have skulls. See, see how he's not... If, if they can't get knocked out... But you can see the technique of like if you roll left. All right. Oh no, I guess no. Oh, that's good. Stop. Stop. He's unconscious. 
Now that means that guy's a tier four one. I guess they do have skulls. But if they have a if they don't have an endurance bar, there's a little line above them. Then uh we I gotta eat here because my character is like hungry. So this guy's a tier four guy, right? But basically if he was knockable outable. And we want to take him back. So what I got to do is we equip the leather binding. You can do it actually if you want. Uh, where put your truncheon away by highlighting it, and then go to your inventory and put the leather binding in that spot. Yeah, I think you took one, didn't you? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's fine. Um, so that's what we want. I could didn't figure this out until this will be the first tier four guy. But essentially, what I what I would do is I take a leather binding, equip it, and oh I gotta put this away first. Because you can't equip over something. And uh we point at him. Oh, no capture item, eh? There we go. So you gotta put bring it out first. See I'm holding it. Now just point at him. Now I just now we drag him back to base. We'll bring this guy back because he's tier four. Normally, I'd actually, you know, go around killing these guys nonstop, but a tier four fighter helps us. And then what'll happen is we'll put him on the wheel of pain. It's not very far away, but we can capture a few of your tier four fighters and. We'll be rocking because those guys are a lot tougher than uh, our tier three fighter. And then when it comes to the thrall attacking us, the best thralls are the tier four purge thralls. So we're getting that's when once our base is you know built up, uh, then we would get them. You see that? That's the maelstrom. There's like good bosses and stuff like that in there, as well as um, good equipment and star metal forms after that. Uh, the only thing you gotta watch that you're you have enough damage left on your leather bindings. Otherwise, you gotta quickly make some uh, fiber binding. Fiber bindings, like you, you can craft fiber bindings on the go. But leather bindings last a lot longer. You can drag somebody halfway across the map. Did you get any human flesh out of that? Oh, okay. And the nice thing about you hanging out when I'm dragging a dude is I can't light a torch right now. So, if we needed to light our way, I'd be going in the dark. That's why I was talking about lighting an area to this other camp. Because there's, at that other camp, there's random ones, not just fighters. They're tier 4. So basically what I do is I point at it, make sure there's lots of gruel in there. That'll put him in there. You can see... I don't know if you're seeing my screen, but you can see in, if you look in the inventory of that thing, he's sitting in there now. And then I just got to go up to the stop, top and push play. And then now that dude we just caught is going to be going in circles until he's done. And, uh, and essentially, um, we will uh, make him on our team. Oh, okay. So, you know, we'll do a drop-off, and then we'll go back. Get you some more XP. Did you get any levels? 
Vangelina, thank you for liking. So you might want to grab some more endurance for now and you know, when you're comfortable you can throw some in the other stats or whatever. Got a two handed sword in here. So I'm gonna go throw I got a chest with a bunch of weapons in. Go. I'm going up to that crafting room at the top of the stairs. I can tell you if there's anything you want to put into. If you're not sure. Axwing basically throws things in this improved uh, this improved bench. As long as there's space, and if if there's not, then we get another bench. Um, but basically, hey, it's done crafting in here. So, so I'm going to the very top where that cooling fridge is. Because most of the stuff I have is for that area. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, essence that I collected in there for now. I guess it doesn't matter. We could use it. Still... Silver of the unfulfilled. That's what you cut off of them to uh, upgrade the orgy temple. But I'm going to put the raw meat in there for now. A storm just broke. Now I have a few. I have a few human fleshes. So I'm going to put them in the fluid press because that'll make blood for sausages. The hide we can go give that to the tanner after. And I'm going to just throw this crappy cloth armor in here. And do you have any items that you need to drop or just hide? Fiber. Um, yeah, I can put the stove in the, in, in, the, in the furnace down there. Um, glass flask, you can, you can put it in here if you want. Dismantling bench, and it'll give you some XP. Okay, you see how, on the thing, you see how the glass flask is in the top part? But if you look in the crafting queue, it's not actually doing anything with it. So that one doesn't break down. So I'm just going to highlight it. And then I'll I'll just throw it into the lower area of it for now. I can sort it later. Now if we go down... I'm going to go down to this, this middle room here above the crafting room. The tanner's on the left here, so I'm just going to throw my hides in there, and I thought that was you, but it's my MP. You'll get used to it eventually, then I'll change it. So it's just an artisan room here. These are all artists, different artisan benches. If you go in here, here's the tanner. He get he takes the hides. Most of the time, you'll just throw your hides in there. Um, if you ever get stuff like elephant skin, then we'll put it in a different spot. But I don't think you're ready to fight those yet. 
Anytime we collect horns, we got to give it to the armor because half the armors need that. And then I'm going to put the Axman might pop in, you never know. Oh, that needs worms. Elixir of freedom. So, I'm not going to bother with that quite yet, but um, we're going to need some worms later. So, I'm going to just put that uh, thing in the fridge that I collected for the Durketto. Because we don't want it to expire. There we go. Now we can go back to that camp again. If you ever want to collect two, there's there's like good like stone and raw uh, iron and stuff that forms along the outer edge of this lake. Once you are able to carry stuff. I'm going out of the front gate. We're you're done loading up, unloading, right? Okay. You can swim too. I mean, ultimately, doesn't matter. Press X a couple times when you're in the water. If you, yeah, you when you. When you're done for the night, try to go in this area and lay down right here where Axman is. Um, until we have the bedrooms created for you guys because... Yeah, because you don't want to... You know, if I'm building your body sitting there for like five days... And, you know... Yeah. It's at 15%, percent hey? Yeah, I'm just going up back to that camp again. I don't know if you... Are you in ahead of me or behind me? Deer is easy XP. But you have to basically hit him with your heavy blow in the head. First try, you know. Line it right up. I'm terrible at hitting me. There we go. Get out of them. Good. Nice. So when when we get back to the camp later on, you would put savory flesh in the fridge or cook it into something if you want to cook it. But uh, um, if we collect a lot of that and we get better meals and food and and this camp regenerates pretty quick so what I've done actually I put a disassembling bench kind of over by that square on the far side there and then you know I collect all the stuff and then break it down oh I got his dentin Nothing. Got him in half.
Cut off his balls. She's here for. Oh, there's an arrow guy to the right there. Enica of Samaria. They technically club her, but. Alright, so. They've got some more stuff on them, which is decent, but the well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my knife. We'll take that armor pieces because we can break those down and die. Don't really, don't need the glass one. I mean, if you, if you want, you could take that die and then put it onto a piece of armor. You'll get a little bonus. I don't know if it's in. Okay, go get a slug on him if you can. It'll give you more XP. Oh, there's two. <sighs> Now, if we have our torches out and they can see us easier, I'm just checking what he has. He has the arrows, so that's good. Take the arrow, yeah, and cut their pleasure glands off. There's some food there. He's carrying food, salted berries. Now, we go up here, there's a whole bunch of chests with good stuff in them, so. The iron, metal, uh, steel bars are heavy. Yeah, I was looking at something in it. There's arrows on him. Now don't weigh yourself down. There's arrows in the bench you can take if you want. I'll take that heavy leather because it's heavy. That jug I'll take. Glass is good. Crystals is not as important, but. Arrows in there too. This is where I get a lot of the arrows from. Pot. That one. Violet die. Get iron brimstone's important. Something like that. Dude coming. Let's watch out. Good. Oh, yeah, the exotic pepper on him. And we'll cut him. In this chest. That, that, that. Glowing essence is okay. Steel arrows. Sometimes there's a good weapon laying around on the sides too. Like an old egg, you know, they just put it in a. I'm gonna break it down, basically, is what I'm gonna do. Food. I can carry a lot more stuff, so that's why I'm like cleaning the chest. And if we're really stuck, I can get the fighter to carry some stuff too.
repair hammer. That might be handy for you to carry if you ever want to see the uh, stuff is in wood. If you uh, go up, point at this table here, it says press X to interact. That'll give you a skill. That book that's on the table there. I'm pointing at it on my screen there. Doesn't it show X to interact? You see how my journey on the top right there? I don't know what it is. There's a guy right across here, so we can pull him. I want to shoot your arrow at him. Careful too, on the far left there's a guy there. He didn't have anything good. We'll cut off his balls. Like called something like unfulfilled desire or something. Usually a guy right here. I think we drew him earlier. We're okay. Might be some stuff in here. You take the food there. There was a stone pike. Anything in this second container that was any good? I'm mostly looking for steel bars and heavy hide because these uh, grease orbs are going to be handy when we're collecting star metal later, as well as these volatile glands. Coal, of course, is always good for burning. And if we go over here. Also, watch for weapons laying around. Brimstone's a thing that's useful. You take the. You can take that and the earthenware jug will break them down. Hot pepper, eh? This thing. Why is it going? Oh, you can take that if you want. We can break it. Are you? I'm at like 84%. But... Are you? No, you can't take too much more. There's only a couple more. Yes, then. All right, so let's walk over here. We need a drink on the way. I kind of have a little bit of cycle set here so I can go a couple times around. the vulture and you can see there's a, a breaking down bench we can get rid of our crap here um, and then sometimes it gives us good stuff so don't get rid of don't accidentally put your your pick or anything like that in there but you know like the turbine like that candles I'll put in there because those give us icker 
if you haven't used that die on yourself, you die. And then if there's like extra stuff that might be handy that just lighten the load. Um we could put it in that campfire storage. And if we get too heavy I can give some to buddy here. Conan, you're hungry. Yeah, throw the wooden bowl in there. I mean, some of this stuff's going to be give us just crap, but... Grease orb, keep. Or you could throw it in the lower area of that if you don't carry it. Because those help make, make bombs to blow, so we can harvest star metal. Throw that in there. Yeah, the die, if you want to... Um, make uh, put your armor on, it'll give you a, like a little thing. I don't know if you want to change the color of your armor, it looks pretty cool, but yeah, if, or change the anything if you have any clothing item in your inventory, highlight the dye and then put it on one of those, and it'll give you a few. Done here. Good. By the way, if you take one of those orbs and you equip it like a weapon and throw it at one of those dudes, it'll give you a feat. Good. Let's see if there's anything I don't really carry. Rotten meat and so forth. And if those arrows burden you down pretty quick. There we go. So yeah, why did you gain any levels? Give her my leather and metals and glass, I think. If you wanna give her stuff, you just hold X while you're pointing at her and then go down to the bottom left corner to open inventory. Don't break the bond or anything like that. Or it's a him. I him, yeah. Time. I had a female with. So steel, glass, or any hide. That's the heaviest stuff. Just right trigger on it, Jeremy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's go back. Have some more XPs. You're hitting them when you're you're, you're trying to hit them, eh? I don't know if it gives you XP in general. You almost killed them.
We can invite Axeming into our party while he gets up. I'm stretching. He's doing some sort of emote. He's trying to talk. He's not in the party yet. Yeah, the I think the you press down on your on your D pad. Can't emote. Axeman can help us carry more stuff. <laughs> I don't know how to break out of the emote. Oh, okay. All right, let's. Uh, we we got a tier four fighter there, Axeman. You know the the bosses here. Um, we knocked one out and then put her on the wheel. No, they, they've been here the whole time. It's just we've been killing them. We didn't realize they're tier four. I didn't know you could kill them. Yeah. And don't skin them right away, guys. I need to grab their testicles. Here's some uh, fire water if you want that to drink that for a, a feat there, uh, Owie. Make you drunk for a second. You can. I already grabbed the part I needed. Where's Axeman going to? Oh, okay. Hard to tell. All the crew around. Somebody shooting at somebody. To the <laughs> Let me cut the special part out first. Take care of him. Have your heart out, Master. Taste death. Being good, that candle's good. We can break that down in the bench. It gives us anchor. Yes. All right. Let's uh. Check these chests and stuff and grab whatever's good. I'll take that skill. Crap. Didn't even really hurt me. Yeah, anything that's good, we can break it down. Like, there's enough of us, we can carry stuff over to that bench. You know? Hardened bricks, not essentially useful here. Uh, right, right stick. There's some food, Howie. If you want food from this loot bag in front of me, and an improvised torch if you need an extra torch. And you can throw that water orb at something and then eat or whatever. Curse you. Oh, 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 oh. 
hold on guys knock that guy out if you can yeah he's an armor your truncheon I'm keeping the guard away from him Oh, I fell through the world. Oh, he's only a two? Where'd he go? He looked like he fell through the world to me. Oh, really? I can't even see him. He's an armor two, though? He's not a just straight armor? Oh, okay. Don't do... Oh, okay. You can kill him if you want to slice him up and... Yeah, we don't need him if he's only two. Amanda, thank you for liking. I thought he was like a named armor. Oh, I see him now. I just kind of... like kind of an early level camp so figure it'd be good to level up uh Allie here you know oh we could take that armor piece and break it down oh i don't know that horse tunic Once you get used to it, it's... Is there a dude chasing us somewhere here? Oh, there's something shooting at me. These uh, chests up here are usually good at full of stuff. Hey, Ivory, that's pretty awesome. Oh, okay, yeah, we need bring that back to our camp or give it to me. You want me to take it? I can. I got lots of it left. You got the pack? Okay, I'll grab it. Let's oh, rock. You don't have to drop your rock. Yeah, I'll take that. Don't open it because it fills your inventory. Oh, where'd it go? It's underneath. Oh, here it is. Found it. It's in your loot bag. Sometimes there's spears and axes and stuff laying around the edges, so. Where are you? Are you with the axe out? All right, what do you need to drop? Did you eat recently? Because you can eat a little bit of food to get. Why is the drop an item once you. Looks like you poop. Pretty exciting. Did you drink any of it yet? Press X on it. 
give you a thing. And once you drink some, you can press Y on it. It'll go away pretty quick. And, uh... If you press the right stick to sort by heaviest first, it'll be show you the heaviest item. Probably shouldn't sort the items right in the middle of the boat here, guys. Though once you get under, under percent, then we'll just run over and drop some stuff up there. So what's your heaviest item? Or just drop that. You can always collect more stone. I'll take your stone though. Let's go back over to that camp, let it respawn. We'll do another run on it oh, back to our camp. Forget to drink on your way. I had to actually give Howie light armor because he couldn't couldn't handle the heavy armor. Although he's got he's got the same axe as you. If we go collect star metal later, like sometime here, I'll be able to um, Um, Axe making uh, Howie's guys a, y a yog so he can con consume people. We're both Mitras, so. Although I found a recipe for that Durkato. You're in the sh shadow. Are you unloaded, uh, Howie? You can. If you, uh, if there's any weapons or whatever that you don't think will be useful, you can throw it. Is that a legendary one? Yeah, so that's a good one. Keep that. Don't don't assemble that. If you want to use a shield, you equip it the same way. Uh, it'll take up your left hand. And if they attack you and you hold up the shield, like if you have the shield up, it'll use your endurance instead. Unless they have armor penetration. So put it in your hot bar, and then you'd have to pull your axe out and your Which... What's that uh, one? There isn't uh, assembling. Eel javelin, thirty-three damage. That's not disassembling. It.
Just uh, throw it in the fireplace there. If there's anything that you don't want to carry back after, you no. Know, I'm, I'm putting like armors and stuff that we don't need into the dismantling bench. Axe thing. Yeah, I, I thought it's easier than to carry it. Like, don't throw anything in there that you don't want to lose, right? So, like, the stone axe, the stone, um, stuff that I picked up. Relic Hunter shirt, you put in this match. I mean, they're not bad if you want a Relic Hunter outfit, but. Crystals doesn't matter too much right now. They won't disassemble though, so you have to press press it on on it and then push it down into the lower half of it. Yeah, I got like 24 human flesh. You can eat those if you want, but uh <laughs> Yeah, you might need to cook them, Bert. I've reduced my inventory. This one steel javelin, though, I notice doesn't uh, want to disassemble. Thick leather. Put it. Put the thick leather on the uh, thrall. And the steel javelin won't uh, break down. Javelins are nice, but I watched Conan the Barbarian today. The Jason Momoa one. I was kind of curious about the armor and stuff like that, and there's a lot of the armors that you. Uh, those arrows won't break down, so I'll take them, and the crystal. Down to the. Hey, don't wreck your truncheon. Oh, okay. Iron pick. You don't need that. Are you good for your iron pick there, Howie? You got one still? No, but you didn't take it out of your inventory, right? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right, let's go do another run. Get Howie a little bit more XP. What level are you now? Did you add more encumbrance? Oh, okay. My uh, thrall hasn't really actually. We killed the level 10 thrall. It took me forever. Attack! Has my thrall kills everybody before you guys even get close? No, he doesn't get XP. This pile of bodies about, eh? Care of the biz here or what? Hey, he's got some uh, two medium harnesses on him. Anybody need some salted uh, berries or whatever? There's a salted berry there. Ooh, what's this? Oil? Take that for sure. All right, search the chest there, guys. You need all that stuff. You see this, guys? If you look over in the corner here. 
Alright, go get him. Break it down. So, if you come to the front end of the boat, I don't know where you guys are, but you see in the corner here, I'll show you guys what it looks like. I don't know if you saw it. Is it gone? Oh, there, there was an axe laying there, so. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. Different for different people. Where was it? Oh, okay. Yeah, mine was a, a axe there, but that's okay. Yeah. Go Howie, what it looks like. Marion. Yeah, those are those are the axes you're using right now. What's that? Iron pick. You can only take you can only take so many items, yeah. I got room if uh, you need. Keep the heart of a hero. That uh, uh, rebuilds our thing if we get the darkness stuff. It needs to go in the fridge. We eat it to reduce the darkness, yeah. Yeah, grab it if you... That's handy. The only other way to cure that stuff is to have a dancer. Yeah, that axe is probably weighing you down a little bit, but... Oh, okay. Where'd you put him? Oh, okay. Here's a handy tool, Howie. Howie, our axeman, whoever wants it. Pickaxe. Box beside me. That'll collect both wood and uh, kind of like a combination of your two tools. Yeah, I haven't bothered with that one for my crafting. Doesn't hurt to break them down. I can't even see it. Oh. Maybe we'll go do an empty out at the bench again and come back, clear them out one more time, then head back to our camp. Good XP for Howie. It kind of levels them up. You should have seen this area. It was trouble when I was Howie's level. Oh. Tough. Because I was, I was wearing light armor and, you know, by myself. Going back to that fire pit. That way we can make like three runs and... Get rid of these medium harnesses, those are just heavy. Stone mall, I don't need iron pick, that attack, have one. Stone pick, stone sword. Oh, take your stakes back. You press Y? Yeah, you don't want it busting down your stakes. <laughs> oh, 
some of it you have to get used to having in your inventory, you know. See, you just come this far and then it regenerates the camp, right? So it's good XP, collect a lot of iron and crap. Take, take the iron out of the bench, I'll take it out of the bench. Who collected 34 twine? 40 arms are sitting in the thing. Probably. Thirsty or hungry. And then there's an, your carrying capacity. But when it's red it should, towards the top, then... If you can't collect stuff, then just... I'm heading back towards the boat. I'm probably going to head towards the camp after we collect that so we can drop off the stuff. If your legendary weapon like this, say we get another boatswain hook, um, we will... Uh, There's some meat sticks on them. If I miss any bodies, let me know where they are, guys. Parchment. I mean, technically, we could recruit that dude. It's more the ones that are crafters is what I'm really worried about. Because now that I know I can collect these ones. Why am I so serious? Why are you Joker? Got a pepper on him. Too bad Maverick can't join us and play this game, eh? That'd be the best. Someone's coming. We're gonna need a crap ton of worms. Uh, it helps create plants and stuff like that.
weapons laying around here, guys. I guess you're made a mess of it. Am I bleeding? Oh. Hey, nice, a kit. You guys clean out. Compost is good. You put it in the compost bin and we can put it, make a uh, out of it. This potent compost is even better. Sure. Doesn't hurt to have extra axes because we actually give them all to the. And you know, I gave one to Howard, although I custom made. need the gruel. Well, we, we technically need it, but we don't need it extra weight. Mostly metal, or steel and le heavy leather is what I'm looking for. And I... The other ones are kind of bonuses. Glass is handy. arrows um we're gonna use it for alchemy stuff later here's a spear steel javelin we get all the chests that you guys saw here's one Stone. All right, I'm loaded up. You guys ready to go back to our main camp? Turn off your torch. Turn off your torches if you haven't. Look how how he don't have to go way out there to do that. <laughs> I just pointed the ground in front of you. you look down. He's Howie, like 10 miles away from me. Well, we got Howie some levels. That was pretty quick, 10 levels. Dude. You guys want to see if we can take the spider boss? Spider boss. Remember you jumped in on with me that one time on the spider boss axeman? Pretty predictable. As long as you don't kill our thrall, but there's enough of us, we should be able to take him down. I'll, he'll probably focus on me. So, you know how to kite in games, right, Howard? Kite? Yeah, kite. See, K Y. So, if, uh, say a monster's attacking my, my thrall, or uh, say my thrall is a monster and he's attacking me, you know, I'm gonna kinda go in a circle. And it keeps chasing me, you know, and then the others hack at them from behind kind of thing. So whoever has the uh, thing, or if you attack, and you attack the spider, you know, you have enough time to do a heavy attack and a light attack. The right trigger, right bumper, and then get out of the way. 
basically, if he's chasing you. Because he wallops you good. But it'll be really good XP for you, and he's not a hard boss. And we might be able to get some boss kind of drops off him then. I remember where to get him. I remember. But I'm gonna we're gonna empty out a little bit first here. Holy crap. And you saw like how your endurance goes back up when you're in can't do nothing basically. Every time you're by water, I just like kind of look down and hit X on it. And actually, um, maybe for the spider boss, we'll just go with one thrall for now. With his wheels moving, yep. Yeah. The other ones aren't leveled up enough yet. Although I might take it down quick. So when we got a lot of worms, if you guys find any worms, um, we want to put them in this fridge here. Because uh, these, the, the recipe for Dracato needs these things and worms. 20 worms. We need about 30 times 20. 100 worms. Put that heart in there too, Axeman, if you haven't. Yeah, if you haven't eaten. I think our darkness isn't high enough yet to bother eating. If we go to that skull area and bring our darkness up a bit. So if there's any items you want to know where to put it. You got any raw iron that goes in the hooker. And since you guys can't put in the safe, you know, you just have to put in a close it. I tried opening it for Axeming, but it just... these parchment notes are for. I think ivory is probably something useful. Um, I have the ability to, like I have just the basic one, but it's not the uh, war point that gives, gives you bonuses. No, that's not the one I have yet. It's like the one level up. Not yet, no. The first level up we did was over at that other spot there. He can probably take alligators, no. I bet you now. Oh, 
I just showed him a lot of the basics so far. Uh, it's kind of by the kitchen. How much damage does the axe? I have some armor for Howie, like heavier armor over. Yeah. You're getting close. Raw meat won't break down. Put the raw meat in the uh, press and the arms, arms and flesh and stuff like that. I think those go in the in the. I think the arms have to go in the grinder, but the uh, uh, raw meat or the boiled meat, but like the human flesh can go in this press thing, and that'll make uh, blood. Um, I'm at it right now. Food press. It's in the kitchen-ish area. Top entrance. If you guys have suggestions for organization, let me know. <laughs> and then I move them. Let's see. So by the cooks, uh, if you got any like loose arms or legs, there's a grinder to his left. I think that grinds up the legs and arms into bone meal. Got two tier three, three or two tier three cooks. But yeah, I explain what I was thinking of doing sometime here is uh, making some torches on the go, and you know, torching out basically a map out to that that camp where that that uh, icon is. You know where we collected the uh, where the Simmy's beacon is or whatever it's called. And if you guys have like lots of loose arrows that you don't want, the arrow box is at the very front by the gate in that room to the left, which will be our future bar, by the way. But I'm not building that until later because I... Figure... The arrows add a lot of weight quickly, so... kind of at opposite end the way the purge attacks you're gonna kind of understand a little bit the approach here when I turn it on um there's near the front where the other stuff is where those guards are because then higher
Yeah, there's a chest in it right there. That steel javelin doesn't want to wreck down, eh? You got any bark? Give it to the tanner as well as hides. All right, guys, we're gonna play the lottery and see what that uh, those two packages are. <laughs> oh, nice! Bought a tar. Actually, tar is not that awesome, but I guess it's not bad to have some tar. Tar and steel fire. Her tire helps make steel fire. What's that? We got alchemical base, that's all right. Out of one of them, 500 alchemical base. Um, before we go questing for the next thing, you guys, do you want to just see if we can collect as much rock as we can and fill up this uh, furnace again? Get the rock and iron. Equip your pick and hit every rock you can. How neat gets XP from that anyway. I don't know how far you guys can go without me, but... Uh, Howie, if you come towards me, I'll show you what iron looks like and stuff. So these things are good. These aloe, that helps us make those potions, just so you know. Um, I'm I'm on the right side of the island, or the left side of the island. Uh, the chest is in the closet behind the... Uh, the aloe goes right into the alchemical bench, and then the chest is in the closet behind it. So here's what iron looks like. And we want to collect all the iron we can all the time. 8,000 of it. All the rock we can. We're just going to fill up the stove. So it cooks because it's a slow cook. You can see there's like trees and stuff like that around. Have you climbed yet? Go up to a rock face here. And press A to jump. And you're on it. And stop. It'll give you a little feet. In there, are you climbing? Oh, and if you catch yourself, like you're falling, and you press A while you're going against the cliff face, that'll kind of drag yourself down to slow, slow your. So you went up to the rocks here, and you pressed A, and it started climbing. Oh. Yeah, you don't have a lot of stamina. Oh. Alright, come this way, Howie, towards me. I'll show you gold and alligators and stuff. Make sure your endurance is okay. Uh, put it in the bench I've been throwing in the vault. Uh, since I have room, I'm just gonna nail a couple of rocks in the We'll give. Actually, I didn't even empty out the uh, trawl. I don't think. Got a lot of stuff on it. He does. Uh. What? He'll despawn. Yeah, put it in a bench. 
chest. There's lots of empty chests around. So you can, you know, you can see how you can wander around. You'll be able to wander certain ways away from me. Here's what gold looks like. Yeah. And, and you'll notice on these ones here, if you're in this area, you can pick them up like rocks as well. Yeah, if you can put as many rocks as you can, actually. You need a pickaxe to take care of that, Howie. <laughs> and then silver looks very similar. Oh, there's a couple of loose ones here. Oh. If you want an achievement, if you go to the top of that tower and just jump off and land. We'll get an achievement. Here's what coal looks like right here. Oh, if you miss, you die, by the way. You have to hit the... Uh, that elevator that goes across, that goes to uh, Dungeon. That's the one we're at. We farm in front of it sometimes. I should make an Elder Edium then. Yeah, right to the top. Pick an area where you think you'll hit water. I don't know if you have to actually hit deep water. You went to the very top? Here. Maybe you have to actually leap off. Oh, did you leap off? Me and Axman got achievements. If anybody ever feels like developing that a little bit, you know, in something cool looking with your sandstone, and I can upgrade it to tier three. Get to the oh crap! There's an alligator here. Steel and sparks. Oh, the crawl kick killed them. Give nothing. No, that's the string is just so we know get to the Bet you're not jumping in my direction. Oh really? I see how he's swimming. Maybe you got it already. The notifications off, maybe? Well, maybe... Maybe, uh... Maybe it just, it'll pop later or something. Good. Don't forget to eat, Howie! You can see the number on your stake there. When you're on the, the inventory screen. I'm the other way from you. I'm to your left right now. 
I'll light my torch so you can see me. Weird. There's always iron right here. There's usually a couple of alligators too. You know what it's called, Axeman? It might... Alright, get your sword out. Or your axe, rather. We'll see if we pull Axeman or not here. Oh, I'm just going towards the alligator area here. Dustin, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. Maybe that. If we just plop, plop down here. And we'll fight a couple of alligators right here. Alright, Howie. You ready? Yeah, I'm kiting him for you. Dodge left. There is he'll take a big bite. I just want to get used to fighting, so before we go for a boss or something. But basically, if you kind of go up to him, slice, and then go left or uh, dodge left. And he won't be able to get you. They're pretty predictable. And, sparks. and then we skin them for all their all their things. If you want an alligator head, you can chop, but the uh, we don't really reptile hide. Give that to the tanner, and then they'll make it into legs. If they have glowy eyes, they're a boss. Be careful. And don't forget. If you hold your shield up when they're attacking you, it helps them. Crap, I'm over encumbered. One second. Why do I get over encumbered? That helped. Can't combat roll. You're over number. But here's Axeman, he's laying down right in front of us. Ember kind of big attack, little attack sometimes, and then do roll sideways. Nice. Get them if you can. Doing that stuff will also give you XP. I'm actually at a maximum level, so I don't really need the XP. I'm more interested in the If we ever want lots of iron, there's plenty of iron along the edge here. But, um, let's walk down here, guys, and see. There's a camp I'll show you where we might be able to get a tier 4 blacksmith. Well, skin these. We'll go back to the camp for Axeman. I don't think you can go back. What?
Oh, yeah, well, we can go back for a second. Fine. I was just showing how he had combat, you know. Uh, depends what it is. The crawl has some room. I'll just monitor how he's fighting. Oh, never mind. The crawl's gonna help. Rolling away on you. Well, oh, that was quite the skinning move. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. They're random. So if you press A, then you climb. Just push up and do it. We'll empty out and then go hunting again. Are you like overburdened, Axwing? How much room do you have, Howie? Or my thrall might be able to carry some, if, depending on what it is. We can do a rip. We can do a river run, and maybe I'll take a thrall. Know, to train up the thralls as long as we're not facing like a big major boss because then I can Once you're in the water, Axeman, you'll move pretty quickly. Anyway. Yeah, doesn't take much, though. If your encumbrance isn't like level 4 and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably easier, eh? You got coal, rocks, or stuff. You can put it in the in the fuel efficient. See what these require here. I wonder why the vault doesn't look. Do you want an actual chest or do you want just like a large crate? I don't know. Yeah, and if it's right by the vault, it's easy. I'm just looking. I'm just looking for it on the. Heck of these chests. Okay, so I got large chest, wooden box. I have to go to the tables to build the other one. So, what do I need here? Five iron reinforcements and fifteen paperwork. Iron reinforcements on you, buddy. Oh no, I'm just uh, talking to my. Oh, day. What did I say? I needed shaped wood.
Start playing the chests again. Large chests. We have 15 shaped wood and five iron reinforcements. I thought iron reinforcements, I just. There's one, there's one fridge on each end of the uh, base. But if it's raw meat, preferably by the kitchen. All right, so I got the iron reinforcements on me. If it's that stringy meat, it doesn't matter that much if it goes bad anyway. If it's the uh, quality meats is up we look. Yeah, we want those. If you got a bunch of arms, put them in the press though. Yeah, you can throw the feral flesh in the compost bin. All I care because we get so much of it. There's a stupid chest. Uh, give him to the tanner. He's in the room, kind of above, above the main room, right there. So if you're going to the safe, it'd be immediately beside the safe, like in the uh, slightly up middle-ish. Move out of the way, Axe There you go. So right beside the blacksmith, I put three dump chests. You know, <laughs> it's kind of kind of an odd design. A lot of it's based on the shape of the land. <laughs> All right. Got teeth. Where are you? In the kitchen? Oh, okay, I know. So oh, you just gotta go through the artisan room. <laughs> and then my thrall's in the way, so. Gotta come in. <laughs> hey, dude. What were there? <laughs> Yeah, you're in the right area. So he's over here. And his bench is going to look different eventually when I upgrade his bench. So it's going to be a bigger bench. You ever need a drink, by the way? This thing gives you water, too. I can't move the darn thing. That's a problem. <laughs> so, you know, it might be dependent on what that bench looks like. But oh, you can see how big this this thing is. It's precision fireball. Um, here's what the one from the like the tear down looks like. It's in this little balcony right here. <laughs> Quite a bit different size. 
that's just there for what do you got in your inventory that you're not sure of Anything? Because if you look in here, by this thing here, this guy's pretty central to everything, you know? Come past my dude. On the way for you. Um, I put three chests here. If it's not, if it's something that is expiring, they'll put it in the fridge. Unless it's like, you know, it doesn't matter if something goes bad. Then... Yeah, those are way bigger than the boxes, so. Make sure you're well fed before you leave breaks. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter if you guy dies, you guys. I need bugs for fish if you if you uh, have any. Oh okay. Oh, you're putting them in the fish, because I need them for Durketto crafting right. For now, it, it won't be very long, but. Although it's good to have fish too, so it doesn't either way. I need 250 iron wreaths reinforcement. Oh. These things. So. Sometimes, yeah. I need, because I have to need to make shape wood. Lots of shape wood. Yeah, we could, we'll take all trolls and we do a run down the rip. So the Pleasure Dome, Rick, 30 of those things. So we need more worms is what we need. Those are the insects from the bushes. Yeah, and then I can upgrade the I can upgrade the uh, thing then. Oh, I need like 20. Thickle works a little better. Or I need 10 times. 10 times about 20. 200 worms or so. Well, insects are worms. I think that the thing that's I'm by the the Durketto altar. <laughs> Guy. The guy that's on 
Ja. The statues are kind of oriented towards inner, looking inwards, by the way, if you guys didn't notice that. Like, you know, the Durketto one, you see how he's looking that way. And then the Mitra and the Conan statue are looking to in inwards. So that helps any. We'll mess up the pattern when we play another uh, alter that. Um, you can make fish sticks on the stove with them. Or you could put them in the press. Well, you know, they mix them with a good fish too. So we we need uh A bunch of insects. If you guys bring the insects to the guy, look it's like he's on the toilet. He's in the middle. I'll put my torch on, you can see me. You can also see where I am on that my screen too if you have the stream open. So the gate, towards the gate, like the one above my room. Yeah. Well, for now, because they expire, right? So throws them in there. A couple more of those. We're trying to make uh, basically. Um, so we can make a pleasure dome. We're trying to make 30 of them total. But, yeah. Well, tier 3 and up. Well, yeah, but I, I was thinking that I wanted to go to that camp by the river because then we might be able to get another priest or uh, um, uh, archer or whatever. Or a boss. Uh, there's a sometimes there's a blacksmith, tier four blacksmith there. Better formulas and on the benches. If you collect the bushes, uh, Howard, um, and get any insects, then we need them in the pleasure dome. The guy looks like he's on the toilet. About halfway, halfway up the stairs. Can, can you go to your crafting menu, Howard, and uh, go down and tell me what the yog thing uses? Stone wood. Yeah. Well, that's not too bad. I wonder if one's up here. Trying to think, they have to be like nine squares away from the other one. Fred, you can't just give me the craft, eh? See, that's why that Yog or that Durketto one's down there is because I couldn't put it closer, otherwise, it would all in the same general area. Yeah, he's. I put in. It's kind of central ish, you know, because then I don't pull you guys around too much. Except for, do they hurt you?
They hurt me. Yeah, once it's once it's done, it'll it'll be a little more secure. The spiky ones. Oh, okay. That depends what we're doing too. Like the, we're crafting up stuff. Sometimes it, you know, it's a little. Throw it in the oven. Yeah, if you can, how he collects stone. Here, have... throw it in the oven. You can usually go anywhere up to a full square away from me, aren't you? Oh, if you get stone, just throw it right in that fuel efficient oven. Because I need like 10 zillion bricks and it takes crap. Every one of these brown squares that you see and wall all needs bricks. Eventually you see how he by the gate, how it's like on a white stone. That's tier 3. So it's like a lot better. Oh, uh, this potion. And this is all going to be that tier 3 stone coming up too. You're aware. By the gate? Dude. I almost picked up the blacksmith. Crazy. Uh, all that stuff would have went into my inventory, I think. I don't think you necessarily need one, but I mean, you can go to the Tinker Bench and get one if you. I don't. I assume it lets you, but you'll have to tell me if. You... Tinker Bench. Kind of right by the main area, but it's beside that big fancy armor. This guy looks busy, eh? Sitting there. Oh, the by the big firestone thing. I said I needed 250 uh, iron. What the? That. It. Yeah, there's lots up there. Some wildcats too, eh? Fifty. 
Uh, do you guys need anything crafted by the ironsmith here? Because I'm going to throw tell him to make a bunch of uh, steel. Horsemen. You can you can do that without without them crafting. See, that's why I wanted to go on a big steel run is because it's lots of steel reinforcement. You got any more bugs? Bring them over. That'll give me another batch. I need uh, 30 total, so. So far I've got 17. But I also have um, 12 jars left. The bugs that I stored on. Then I can upgrade that temple. Eh? Yeah, if you got bugs, bugs. I use the scythe, but you said that if you hit them with your axe, sometimes it helps. But... We're trying to upgrade the temples and stuff. Four hundred hardened brick, two hundred forty steel reinforcement. No, fifty steel reinforcement, and two hundred forty tape Four hundred hardened brick, eh? That's crazy. Or if you guys prefer, we can do a run down the river. What are you doing right now, Howie? Oh, okay. Oh, you put some bugs in there? Can you craft the elixirs of freedom at all? I'm curious if it gave you a choice. Here. So there's 12 more. Need to craft. Need 120 bugs. If you look in the sky up there to the right, Howie, how there's a big swirling thing. That, that's called the Maelstrom. There's like a giant squid boss monster that forms in that or that somewhere. Yeah. But when that breaks, if we have a bunch of explosives and stuff like that, we'll have to craft them up. Uh, we can go collect star metal and then we can get some really nice weapons. Some of this end boss stuff is kind of cool, so you uh, get XP collecting materials, stuff like that. It all contributes towards the And once your encumbrance is up for where you can actually wear that heavy armor, then you'll you'll be able to take on more stuff. If 
friend. You can turn on PV. It's more fun being being pink. You, you know, there's there's uh, PVP servers too, eh? Where you all work together, build a base, and then somebody could sneak offline and wreck you. I think, uh, and there's PVE public P servers too. Probably. <laughs> yeah. In my bedroom, there's a bear, too. Did you ever get that achievement for jumping off this thing? Maybe you have to land on a certain spot. You know, like when I landed, it was it wasn't really deep or anything. Maybe it was deep. That stupid maelstrom makes it all dark all the time too. Yeah, once I get that uh, Durketto upgraded, um, we'll go for a run down the river. It'll train Howie and we'll, we'll take some thralls with us. It doesn't hurt to have bugs for fish anyway. People use that big fish farms. I collected some bugs too. I got like a thousand fiber. Because I have uh, double collection and I'm like, and I'm uh, like for my level. So I, I got that double collection. So I got eight more on the way of those things. So. So 60 will give us six more, I think. So yeah, if you throw six, might be able to come. We have 18 plus eight is uh, 26. Should be enough. Then we'll have a pleasure orgy place. Max being smiling, his character is the only dude. Mind you, we got this, we got this priest here, so. <laughs> I guess the the priest will be happy with how he's how he's been. Are you able to craft anything in this axing? Like, does it give you any choices? It's that. Oh, it doesn't give you any choices. Oh. Oh, okay. I'll craft up the. Uh, Uh, rock. Rock and iron. Rock and iron, if you can. So, when I upgrade a temple, don't go near it while it's upgrading, because if you stand where it can't generate up, then it will uh, screw it up.
to. Yeah, we'll get over the limit once it finishes. Uh, so that we have the materials to upgrade. Huh, I wonder how he had that he uh, didn't have a rope on him. But the rope's gone from the thing, so he must have took it. Have yeah, the leather binding. Make him another rope. We'll probably need them because down by the river there's from If you know where things go, try to put them where you go, but iron bowl can be broken down. Bugs can go in the uh, back in the either fish or the um, bridge. Either, either or. Went to the bathroom or something, I think. I don't know what those. Yeah, I was just, I was just waiting for this temple to build up. Oh, the storm break. That's like the maelstrom is that thing. So there's some better spawns and stuff like that in there. And they can get better drops. But there's also some bosses and crap. Just waiting on a couple more potions to build. And then they'll start that. You can, Howie, if you want to collect rock or whatever. It'll help build the base. Rock and iron, yeah. With a pickaxe, yeah. If you need it repaired, Axeming or I can fix it until you get the um, iron pickaxe skill. or iron yeah any kind of metals and you can grab aloe if you see any and I put I put a leather binding into alchemist bent I put a leather binding in there in the thing for you Oil, we got corn. Aloe vera plant. Spiky green thing. X. I was just sorting what you guys threw in the chest there. So. Wait. 
what you do with 8,000 plants, but something with it. About 1,800, yeah. Banner. The delving bench, actually, in the lower part of that, it has a phenomenal... Bees. Oh, our beehive is full. I better take out the honey. Yeah, I took it, uh, it for something. 50 steel reinforcement. 300 brick. Four hundred hardened brick. Oh, for improving the temple. Oh, fifty steel reinforcements. Uh, two hundred forty shaped wood. Good, throw it in the oven. All right, 240 shaped wood and 400 hardened bricks. That's why I need lots of rocks, guys, is because every hardened brick is like 10 bricks and stuff like that. Throw coal in one of the ovens. Lots in the fuel efficient one, you could throw it in the. Whole room. Make a hunt. How much hardened brick did I say I needed, guys? Sure. Shaped wood. Oh. I need regular wood too in the uh, crafter's bench. How much does it need? 400 hardened brick. Oh, 
So the other other thing for the temple we need is 240 shaped wood. So that's about 2400 wood. We saw Kingdom Ashen of the North. Are we good? We're good. What we're doing here? A carpenter's bench for the wood and the fuel efficient for the rocks. And you can throw your extra coal in the other furnace that's in the same room. Fuel efficient. Carpenter's bench is right across from the stove. Uh, Alchemist bench and uh, four up. Um, I don't really have a lot of use for branches right now. You could throw them in the in the um, chest. For Can't wait for the next. You're like obsessed with Korean movies all of a sudden, eh? Alright, I'm gonna check on the Durketo thing. This all benefits us in the long run, it's just kinda... Collecting his materials now. Alright, we got enough of that, so... Take the worms back and don't go near the Durketto uh, thing, guys. I gotta keep an eye on it, but if uh, somebody's in the way of when it expands, it won't be open. Have you seen the gunpowder milkshake? I haven't seen any Korean movies, Maverick. We can just eliminate them all right now. I haven't seen any. I don't know the last time I've even seen a Korean movie. If it's not in English, I don't tend to watch it. We'll see what a pleasure dome looks like. Hey, hopefully that doesn't wreck that thrall. I should go... There's always subtitles. I don't know. I'm just never. I don't tend to watch movies that aren't English, unless it's like something that, that there's a little bit of other languages in it. You know, like for example, Inglorious Bastards or something like that. Thought I like to read. I'm not a particularly big reader, to be honest. Look at like we could see Axeming or somebody chopping wood from way over here. Why not? Are you racist? No, that's not racist. Lang languages are, you know, not races, you know. If you, you're not, you know, if you're trying to, like, if you uh, being discriminatory against somebody for the color of their skin, that's racist. Uh, if there's, you know, French speaking language movies or Nordic speaking lang language movies. I mean, those guys are white too. You know? So it's not anything to do with their color of their skins. It's just. I'm not really. I don't really watch their movies, that's all. I'm sure there's good ones out there, but there's plenty of good ones in, in English already. Did this thing expand?
Oh, it's bigger. Ooh, look at the pleasure palace, guys. Pauline can check out the Pleasure Palace if she wants to see on the on screen. <laughs> I wonder what di difference it is to make in this thing. What's the next one? Like we can watch more. We can make skirts now, elixir of freedoms. Accolade here. I can't upgrade this because I don't have the skill to upgrade it. It's a feat, yeah. I I would have to get, for me to do it. I'd need uh, definitely. Um. The skill. Korean, Germany, Russian, Chinese, Japanese. You want to try to watch foreign movies? I have seen foreign movies. You know, I have to study them and... It's right here. Halfway. Well, it looks different now. Pleasure. It's a pleasure dome, actually. Yeah. So worms can go back in the fridge now, guys. We need them, or or in the in the fish cave. Your empty fish cave. For this one, we just need some shape wood, and then we can upgrade that. One. The highest level. If you guys want to do a run, we can do a run down down the river. Show Howie the river. Throw these steel reinforcements. Oh no, I'll throw them in there. Blacksmith. So both the temples are upgraded to the second level. I don't even know what this elixir of freedom does, to be honest. It says concoction that frees Im Imber. Imber. Those are the things we made out of the testicles that we found, eh? Uh, Howie, on the torturer's bench, there's uh, some leather a leather strap I made for you. Since you couldn't find the one you had. Torturer's bench on the kind of upper part of the crafting area. Right here, just go up one. And he's in the corner up here. Try to watch the trailer, you might like it. Right here, Jowie. Behind you. He's the guy with the whips and chains on him. He looks like a gimp. I have oh the leather leather circle thing there. Bindings. That's what you drag the people with.
All right, you guys. Are you emptied out? So, Howie, if you hold X when you're pointing at this guy, select uh, follow. Now don't guard him somewhere in the middle of nowhere. He has to come back to the base. If anything, if we stop him from, or if he just unfollow, then they'll go back. But and then Axe Wing, if you want to take take the guy too. Um, you take this one up here if you want. The barbarian. That's what Conan was wearing in the video I watched today. I don't know, it doesn't matter really. We gotta level them all up, but. I'll take the archer. They all have uh, axes in their hands right now, right? So, just so you know, Howie, we got. Um, we should give you another truncheon in case we gotta give your dude a truncheon. Oh, okay. There's... Yeah, if you... If you want to take some of the seeds and put some fiber in the fire pit. Um, make a bunch of gruel. The, the cooking kitchen, not the stove, but the fire. If you put some seeds here in the chest there, the, the spare chest, I have a bunch of seeds there. Take some fiber and... Put it in there. <laughs> well, we gotta make Howie a truncheon. Back to the torture. Oh, I need to. This guy's the only one that uses sticks. Um, no, it, the campfire is up by up by the temple. There's a truncheon in there. Take that and keep it in your inventory. I'm in the uh, room above the crafting room there. Be back, right back, okay. So the torture is over here. Take that truncheon. By the way, if you want to send your guy out of the way, you just press X pointing at something. Now, once you have that extra truncheon, just so you know how to do it, if you if you point at them and hold X and then go to their inventory in the bottom left um, what you want to do is you want to right trigger on their axe put that in your inventory and then you right trigger on one of the truncheons to put that in their inventory if they have the axe If they have their, if they have an axe, they will waste people, right? But if they have a tr only a truncheon, then they'll just uh, knock them out. Oh yeah, no, I'm just showing how he had to do it. But right now, keep keep uh, an axe in his inventory, and then that's fine. Just just right trigger, he'll equip it himself. So basically, when when I tell you to switch to truncheons, that's what you gotta do. If we go to a camp where we wanna wipe some guys back, you know. Yeah, that's fine. We will. Something threatens him. And he has to be following you to get a XP. So, um, you have him on follow right now. But later, 
later on when you log out, you'll put them down to guard somewhere in on our base. Give me warning if you, you're going to be logging you guys so that we can get back to base. You know, don't want to leave our guys in the middle. We want to level them up. Are we ready to leave? Or are you empty on your inventory? You fed up? Oh, I mean your 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 uh, your food on you. If you guys get a lot of um, those those uh, strips or whatever, you know, like the grizzly meat, throw it in this throw it in the fire pit that's in the kitchen area, and then press play on the fire pit, and then we'll have a lot of thrall food, you know. This this pit here. There's lots of gruel in here, so if you want to give a uh, hundred gruel to your your thrall, that'll give them a thing because they if they get low on hit points, they'll just eat food. Um, the kitchen. So if you go to the fire pit that's in the kitchen, guys. Right across the Temple of Mitra. There's lots of gruel in there. You can give your NBC gruel. So oh, I'm I'm up just above you there, Allie. Go through the on the deck and then up through the artisan room. Awesome designing. So if you come over here, yeah. grab some gruel and give them a hundred gruel. Uh, not the stove, but the fire pit behind you. And if you ever get any of that stringy meat, throw it in here and press play. To cook it. There's no, we need branches or something like that in there to, I think, uh, doesn't have any fuel right now. So if you ever have lots of loose branches, feel free to throw that in there. And then just put it in your inventory like you're putting a weapon in. Or, or whatever. If they have lots of food, they won't, they'll probably not die then. Alright, we ready? in the closet behind the Arkham uh, the one floor down from where we are but in the closet behind the the uh, what you call it person alchemist All right let's go kill some stuff dudes And we got three thralls with us, so I mean, we should be okay for dumping some weight if we need to. And if you guys need reference of where I am on the stream. Towards the base. You guys both with me? Um, Axeming Howard doesn't have the ability to build torches yet, so you might have to repair his torch, or I might have on him. That'll be a good one to grab when you get a chance, Howie. But... Yeah, there'll be some places where. Like... <sighs> yeah, I rolled away right after it just skips. Then win the circle. Used to that. Somebody want to skin it? Not with that axe, man. We're cutting grass. Get more material. 
So we kind of walk against the wall, sort of, so you take less damage falling. We'll kill the boars when we're over there, too, eh? Alligator. Archer doesn't use his bow very much. Crap, Archer. Leveled up, man. Guys can skin the alligators. I'm gonna save myself for iron and stuff. Use your skinning knife. Comes another alligator. I saw X Wing behind me. I thought I was gonna get attacked here. There's an alligator up here. You got it? Okay. Basically, I'm following the river for a bit. There will be lots of alligators on the way. But the strategy I'm doing every time, Howie, is big trigger, bumper, and roll to the left. You don't need to bother collecting the aloe along, along this route here. So we want to save some space. I don't even care about you guys, and I didn't even hit them. <coughs> Jerks. Alligators, eh? There's another one coming. You guys can kill these too if you want. Hit them in the head, though. Get some savory meat. those moves from Howie. Punching it too. We should show Howie that death area, man. Although it's probably better to wait till he has heavy armor. <laughs> Where the skeletons are that murdered you. And I was having, I was struggling a bit too. If you get full, don't forget to use your thrall to store the alligator skins or whatever. What are you doing, Howie? <laughs> you teabagging the, the uh, alligator? Oh, do you need me? To, I, actually, I don't even know if I have any iron on me. Did somebody skill it, skin this alligator? Alligator? There. Forget to fuel up on water, Howie. Another alligator across the way. Sometimes. If they have glowing eyes, make sure somebody says something. They'll hurt you. It's XP to skin these things, do we? Eh? <laughs> oh dear, I missed both. Deer did. A deer didn't stand a chance. Want to grab the deer, Howie? We're gonna need plenty of steaks. Steaks for Howie. God, take you. My followers leveled up. 
Dude, this is nice. We're leveling up all these followers, eh? You see a baby alligator, by the way. You pick them up, and that's a pet. Damn, there's like we have like the biggest mob gang here going, eh? There's a dead thing. Could be some uh, iron up here too, but. There's actually another camp of NPCs up on the other side of that bridge, I think. Some iron, I think. Heck. They took care of Biz here. <laughs> Somebody killed it. Fortunately for Howie, he's got a tour guide here that kind of knows the area. There's like a camp that we're going to check out. Yeah, the boars give us savory things, but don't use your skinning knife. Use your axes on uh, when you're skinning them. Use your act use your axes on them. No axe 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 hatchet. And that'll give you like a roast. And then sometimes it'll give you a boar head too, eh? If there's any other iron, there's a good camp. If you look at my map here, so um, where are we right now? So there's a camp somewhere around here, I think. Then there's another camp that's like up here somewhere, because but it's really high up. But the lower camp is easier. I'm not sure how you drag out of the actually the higher camp. Figure out it. Now, who cares about the birds? I mean, if you want XP, how you can shoot an arrow at the birds. You don't need to skin the birds, they give crap for stuff. I mean, you can if you want. But... There's an alligator. There's a dead boar over here and a alligator over here, guys. If we kind of consolidate, you know, give give the one thrall, like whoever, whichever, if you wind up putting on a thrall, give it the one thrall, the reptile hide, you know. By the way, if you put the boar heads, if you get them, on the tanner, it'll give us more heavy leather. Instead of the crusher. A 
I gotta be careful with my weapon because if I break it, I can't fix it. So what I have to do is I have to give it to an NPC just before it breaks and they won't break it, you know? Put up here. Oh, here's some. I also have a perk, I collect the materials twice as fast, so. Awesome, isn't it? Howie's encumbrance is going to be great by the end of this. I didn't even see that thing. Walked right past it. We're going to have a lot of leather, that's for sure. It's like a path of death here. I'm like taking like, you know, those hunting tourists. Don't forget to drink water, folks. in the valley here, eh, compared to the sunlight. Oh, you don't have to light it up, it don't. Be in sunlight before we know it. Yep, you can make those gaseous orbs out of them. All right, guys, before we go further, trunching up your NPCs. You take the wrong fight. Ah! Uh, my, le my follower has double weapons, so I'm going to actually just make him guard here. So he's going to scout right here, but uh, so he's not going to get XP, unfortunately. But if everybody's trunchened up, like get your NPCs trunchened up, we're going to leave the archer here. But uh, it, you keep your NPCs following you, though. And you're probably hungry again, so make sure you eat. So take away their axe and give them the trunch into their enemy. Which one's yours here? Deck break. Yeah, take the axe away. Doesn't look like he has it. Maybe it's a... Take mine. Oh, he gave the trunch into my guy. I give. I think he got. He has a two-handed sword. My guy actually.
It's just because he had the double weapon. That's why I was late. So take your truncheon back and give it to this dude after. Don't forget to give my guy a weapon back. <laughs> yeah. The cursed one is the, the cursed archers. Give him a sword or that two handed sword, steel sword or. No, he was using a two handed steel sword. Took his sword away. Okay. Your guy's still following you, right? Okay. And he's got a truncheon. We just don't want them to murder the guys here. He's got some uh, hides on him. You got space, right? Okay, and you got your truncheon in on your on yourself. Gonna equip mine. You guys, see where I'm going, right? So if we don't need them, we're going to, uh, like anybody that we don't need in the end, so keep track where the bodies get knocked out, because we'll take three of them. And uh, if we don't need them, we're going to kill them. And I'll let you know what we need. Until you get used to it, you know. Uh, by the way, there's some boars in the area, too. They might have to swap to a killing weapon to kill the boars. Switch back to the truncheon. They're attacking him. Blacksmith, nice. That's tier four blacksmith. Knock him out. Get over the way and go bandage up or something. <laughs> priest, nice. That's tier four priest. Don't lose where he went. Guide him towards us there. There, he's knocked out. Your kid? Oh, that's a priest, uh, too. We don't need that guy. I can't see you guys, by the way. Archer, too. We don't really need this guy. Where'd that blacksmith go? Or did he fall through the world? Archer 2. Oh, it's only a blacksmith one. Kill the, uh... If they don't, if they have a number after their name, blacksmith one, you can place their body. With your so your axe. I have a hard time hitting with this weapon. Are there any other ones over there?
Oops. Oh, I need more wood crap. I'll throw my I, I can cut it, I just didn't have enough on me to bear my torch. Need more plant fiber too. Is anything good in the chest here? Archer too. You guys want to come slice this guy up too? Kind of easier to hit with the axes. Got to use your light attack with your battle axe. That takes forever. Get on him. Okay. Two-handed steel sword. We'll take his testicles or whatever. Whose torch just broke axing? It's used for a recipe. White die and yellow die. So if we walk down to the path, they'll regenerate. Or we can continue walking along and look around. We'll check it one more time. Looks like it's only Durketto Priest that My guy still down there? Like Howard's torch broke. Yeah, uh, point at it in your inventory. And then press X. And then uh, once you've returned it, it'll be in your inventory, then just drop it and one of us can. Got it, axe wing, or do you have wood? Hey. You just axe wing can repair it by right bumper and air. by your feet. <laughs> Go look again, dudes. They do some massive damage to Howie from the foot. It won't, it'll be it'll lessen after a while and we'll then we'll go after bosses like those white stupid bird things that were murdering me and axe coming what are they archer two blacksmith you can kill these guys they're only level two. well if you see any higher tier guys or ones that are yellow bars around them just priest and guy are useless blacksmith is useless crap i don't have any potions on this 
Stop chasing. If they're unconscious, kill them. Be nice, this guy has an iron bowl and a. He took some damage. Stab him with your axe with the light attack. They should have an option where you finish him off, eh? Is there more of them or just the two? Got some leather on him. Silk. And let's continue down the beach. You can re give uh, access. Oh, check that chest in the thing if we have it. Good. Thought it's. At least you're getting XP, you know, you're leveling up. Give your guy an axe again. Take away the truncheon. Yeah. Because we're not trying to, we're not thrall collecting. We want that for thrall collecting. If there was a tier 4 blacksmith here, we would have grabbed him. That benefits us. You want more foods? Cook more foods, please. We're adventuring right now. Well, fortunately, we're by a river if you need water. Guy has his axe again. Because they practically do no damage with the truncheon. Oh, it's just been off. Gave him some beef, eh? I don't think he can eat the raw beef, though. So I'll show you guys where that other camp is. You got it? Did you? Why are you carrying your stupid sword when you're carrying your bow? guys want to go look at that power shard area? I don't know how far away. You might be able to steal the idol though. Okay. Usually, usually Howard's good till four in the morning here.
Usually there used to be a lot of iron along this route, but barely any. Maybe it's because we haven't been really close to the hills, though. So here's an alligator nest. Is it meals? Sometimes there's baby alligators. Getting lots of leather. <laughs> it's a fly running. We'll walk along here and hey, okay. head generally towards our camp again. There's lots of interesting things to see too as you level up. This is still the lower ish areas. This castle is where me and Axwing were though. Yeah, you can slide down if you hit a, if you hit the wall right. Press A, you can slide down. Stops you from dying from the fall. temperature and stuff like that so if you are in a really high location or snowy area um or hot area that kind of thing had to eat there As far as I understand, if you uh, do your guy to unfollow rather than telling him to guard it, then he'll return after a while to the last place he guarded. I've never tested that. It's always nice, I think, to return them to base. <laughs> In case we ever need. Let's uh, let's change to clubs here, guys, because I've never explored this camp before. 
I'll unfollow my guy. Because then I, you know, he's got like a couple weapons. This doesn't. Um. I should actually put potions on my car. What am I doing? Hey, don't don't pull the air because this guy will murder them. Go on the part. Oh, sound like you're shooting. Everybody's. Oh, there's an axe. Oh, that's how he with his axe. XL2 is not a big deal. Place them up. Nice mech. Uh, kill them with your normal axe. How it's faster. Use light light swing. Put on them. Particularly. My little knife of Dracato. Oh, kill the dog. Attack! Anything good? <laughs> kill him. Don't forget to use your club there. Howie, otherwise you'll murder them and we won't be able to use, uh... This guy's tier 4, man. Oh, no, he's not. We're okay. Yeah. We just don't want to murder certain ones, you know? Did you slice up the guy over here? Getting the Durkato club. XL2, you can murder that guy. I'm just mostly watching for threes and the ones that are named. Gotta slice this guy up. Find another one? Is there anything good in any of these boxes? Camp, is it? Dog up there, eh? All right, let's give your guys their axes back, I guess, for now. I didn't know what was in it. Sometimes you, you discover some cool camps, you know. It seemed like not a great camp. Lots of, I'm sure there's plenty of secrets. You know, you'd have to use the internet for. You guys re equip them with axes? Dog chasing you. And you there. 
That one was after Allie and then some. Drink, man. No water either. We should, you know what we should do uh, when Howie's leveled up a bit? You know how those undead were attacking us? Could you go out and explore that camp? If there's anything good there, you know? Might be okay with two of us too. A couple thralls. But, uh, I bet you that's, those would be sweet experience. Although the only problem with uh, fighting undead is you do get corruption when you fight them. So it's better if your NPC, your NPC uh, gets the because your NPC doesn't get corruption. Your health and your stamina permanently reduced. Yeah. Even if you die. So you have to wind up watching a dancer. So if we ever get a dancer thrall, we'll be okay. Or you uh, eat a hero's heart. Like if you look on my bar on my screen there, you'll see how my my health and my uh, stamina are down just a little bit. And there, that's corruption. Oh, this will give Hallie a thing, a marker. See? I'm so ready with my little Dirk Edo knife. <laughs> Probably carry my actual sword out. Now he's got his legendary bone shield, though. How's your shield holding up, Axman? I, I forgot to carry mine. I don't know. It's in one of the benches somewhere. I'll show uh, Howie where my original site was. We're going to walk right past it. along the beach I can see you guys there or somebody um I'm looking at the tiers so if you if you the tiers are on your right side and you walk down the Yeah, this game has a lot to offer. You can craft, or you can explore, or adventure, you know? And there's like big boss battles, and if you're doing PvP, it'd be even a... By the way, there's like a, somewhere in the wall here, I can't remember where it was, there's this cave full of acid. Uh, you need a sand mask or to go come over here guys you call your thrall um this x towards us for all that is you see there's a camp up there 
We might be able to knock him out, but the Jailer, you can't knock him out. So, if you trench it up, we, there might be a Master Arch. But just be prepared to switch your weapon because the thralls, thralls can't switch. You guys tr trunching them up, right? Okay. This guy murdered me originally. Just drummed. So many of us will be up on him. You're not there? That archer might be the one we're after though. The jailer can be killed. Oh, it's only it's an archer three though, so that's, I guess that's not the move. Oh, how he got his first death, congratulations! Jailer can be killed. I already knocked out the archer. Hey, Howie, if you want uh, a progress thing, come grab this key off of the jailer after. Right here by me. Grab the key, then I'll take off his pleasure dome. You already looted your stuff and it puts it automatically back. Anything good in the chest? So you go up to this guy and unlock it. Looks are a bigger. Good. Now she can't really follow you because you already got all so well, it might you might have to tell it to refollow you yeah this one's scouting oh go over here to this one and tell her tell them to follow you yeah I think it's There's one here that says scouting right now. Oh, and you can... You can scan your body, eh? Oh, hold on. Before you skin it, get your pleasure gland. Pleasure gland. Oops. Who wants to drag it? Drunken pirate archer. I can drag it. Then you guys can fight. Matter, right? I gotta grab my uh, archer again. At the bottom. The other guy's just gonna stand there. Really do nothing. He's only level one, though, so. Do His archer is terrible. He only uh, stands there with a sword. I'm down the hill.
See, and then we when we have the three of us, like, when we have more time, like Saturdays kind of thing, that's when we can do stuff like look, go for the power orbs or, you know, some stuff that's a little easier with multiple players. But, you know, you guys are welcome to join. Have them play. One thing you gotta watch out for because sometimes they sink into the world. Is you just gotta hold your button down and make sure your rope is holding out. Oh, we got a lizard. Dragon bait here, guys. Careful not to slice my body, my guy then. Okay. Give me guys. In them. XP, man. It's actually a pretty good sized map. The other map, I think, is a little bit bigger. Yeah. But this map, you're not stuck in the desert. So, here's the original uh, part of your tour here. Um, here's the original, original camp. Here's Axeming's little hut. And uh, this is where... Oh, that's okay. This is where it was originally. Steel and oh, why is that guy, that uh, NPC has a truncheon still, eh? <laughs> How he's guy has a truncheon. Give him a, give him a killing blade. <laughs> There'll be more. Oh, how he pressed Y and dropped his, uh, dropped the bat. You know, Archer, I'd really prefer if you used a bow almost all the time. Give him a sword. In the dog. Yeah, you can see our original camp. We had a house right here, Howie. Full of stuff. Got destroyed by the by the purge. Axeming's hut thing. There's an animal cage up there that survived. Purge is nasty, by the way. I'm going down the beach, guys. If you... Grab some water on the way. Nice. We got ten. Grab the honey while you're there. It'll it'll keep producing honey. We have to repair it to take that. I'm on the beach by the boat. That's not the beach, that's the mountains over there. I mean, we could go through there. I figured it'd be easier just go along the edge. Hey, if you guys want to grab that tier four thrall and uh, at this camp up here. To drag him too.
you will recognize this camp. We, we barely did even half of it. I can't let go of the thrall here, so. Where's the other, uh, where's your guys' thralls? Where's Axeman then? So give your guy his if you give give the guy his club again. Don't forget to uh, take the club, Axming. Don't kill the guy that's the named one. Someone's coming. They switched to your club there, Axeming. After, like uh, for the boss over on that. That boy. So this guy that's on the, where the good loot is on this side, is he alive? Somebody. Hit the guy that's the boss. Ulrich the beast knocked him out. <laughs> Ulrich the boss is somewhere over there. I don't know. Hopefully your guys have clubs. Hey, 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 hey. Why? Yeah, I, I ran him away when I saw the boss. He was kind of towards the middle of the boat there. He knocked out. Yeah. So you know how to use the rope, you guys, so one of you can... And then, if you've already got Ulrich, then, uh, you know, give your guy hit their, tri or their axes back. I don't think we have any tier threes left here, though. It doesn't matter. Clean out the things if you got the space. At least the good stuff, you know, the leather, the. I'm on the boat cleaning out chests. Don't drown our guy. Check all the lower chests there, actually. Me and Howard will start walking back. 
I really, he's been wearing my rope the whole time, so I gotta. Our head. But you can always check the chest and teleport to us if you need to. Asdrill, thank you for. Well, or for liking, much appreciated. I can't light up if, uh, you know, when you come ask me if you can light your torch. Because as a rope, we can't light our torches. Ulrich the Beast, nice. We got a tier 4 guy and a tier 3 archer. Got a torch going there, Axe Bang. I can't see crap back here. At least we can kind of follow the trail. I'll have to be careful not to step on Ulrich here. Oh, it's Eurek. At the lake, it's a left turn. You're just like, I'm just five feet behind you, though. Get yeah, anything good out of the chests? Any iron or steel? Steel's good. Are you with us already? Okay. In the wheel, yeah. to break their spirit. Remember, remember in Conan the Barbarian he had to push the wheel till he grew his muscles? Just press X when you're on it. You don't even have to hold it. There you go. You know, we got three dudes on the wheel. And we just got to make sure there's enough gruel in here. So we probably should throw a few more in here. If you got any gruel on your uh, dude, still. So put the gruel into the wheel here, because we can we... I'm going to eat some steak in front of them metal torches. And if you're going to log Howie or whatever, or whenever you do log, make sure you empty out whatever you won't need when you wake up. Because sometimes you can wake up anywhere. You know, like Axe Wings figured that out. So, like, empty out what, what would weigh you down and, uh, you know, park your guard, guard your guy back inside the thing. No, I didn't. Oh, or in the eye. I think that wipes that three out, though. Oh, there's a little pencil there. Yeah. Don't worry about it for now. That'll confuse us. What's up, Hungry Howie, Maverick said. What's up, back? So bring your guard to the area here, and then we could drop off all that alligator hide in the tanner, and probably you'd build the advanced tanner thing, eh? And they have their axes back, right?
Uh, you can put it. I don't know. Put it in the thrall box if you. Yeah, I'm just in over here. Vanguard and. Pop them down. Here's the thrall box right here, Axeman, right in the corner. Kind of right beside the gate. Or put it in the pet box because the bear likes that. And you can put your raw meat, uh, raw scaly meat. In the uh, in the box here too, if you want the feed box, that alligator will eat it. They love it. Probably put off your torches while you're in the base. Have it off. Look at that we got 755 freaking bricks man actually you know what that uh are you brothers brothers you look alike Ooh. Howie? I don't look like Howie. Don't forget to put your meat in the fridge here while it's still fresh. Although I almost filled the fridge up. Take it up. his profile. What are you looking at his profile for, you stalker? Looks like me far away. You said, you said that all sorts of people look like me. Uh, Tanner and you can put the alligator skins in there too Tanner's right there behind me I walked away you left your guard at the front did you empty him out There, the box is uh, by the thrall box, right by the, to the right of the uh, arena gate. Uh, no, fur can go in that those chests by the, or by the banner. Iron bar you can give to the smith. Uh, the horn, give to the, the armor. Theory. You watch a lot of movies? I am eating kanji. It's like risotto. Oh. Get rid of this teapot. Oh, the eggs. Put the eggs in the fridge too, Axeman. 
You were collecting them beside me. I only got six eggs, so there's a lot of eggs collected between whoever is collecting them. You get any eggs there, Hallie? Oh, I'm sure it was Axman beside me there. I'm... Oh. Got eight white dies. Oh, that works there too, but um, usually I just give it to. This. I mean, the armor does use it too. Not to the same extent. Myth is in that room by the safe, and the armor is in that room beside him. Picked up some human arms to make some blood sausages. That's what you do. You take blood and you put it in the campfire and it makes... It's Howie's favorite because he's a cannibal. Axwing loves egg a lot. He likes protein. Poutine. Protein jigs. I wind up going back and forth myself a lot trying to sort things to do, so. What are you looking for? Blacksmith or armor? They're lower down. I, everything's right by the, the furnaces for anything that's metal related. Oh, the armor has a bunch of fur. That's where I've been storing it. Getting close. One more room down. Tinker's Bench, you're in the right area. That's where the armor is. And... Towards the state, safe is the bit of the smith. Heavy leather can go to the smith too. Wherever. Hot pepper. All sorts of boxes. Uh, the armor. There's a big batch of it. Oh, and food. Uh, the giant stone uh, fireball ca cauldrons. One floor up from where you are. Drop the brimstone. You're also watching. How many players can join you? I'm not sure what the limit is.
Google, Google would tell you. Under the kitchen in the area. To run outside. <laughs> Candle. Candles just drop through the world anyway. Got rotten meat, throw it in the compost bin. Got tons, like uh, I can make a hundred planters and tons of Oh, uh, shaped wood for this temple upgrade. Think. Hey guys, don't go close to the, uh, is your thralls? Guarded somewhere. Okay. Don't go near the temple here, okay? Like the Mitra temple. Because it's going to upgrade here, so. And if you're in the spot where it's upgrading, it won't be able to upgrade. Um. See it on my on my screen, it's very slow. <laughs> Don't walk past that, I'll let you know. That'd be a few minutes. Go to your spots where the where your and Axwing's bunks are right now. Please let this work because it sucked last time upgrading and it broke. There's two. You left your your guard is sitting on the bridge somewhere or inside. And you gave him his axe back. And you're carrying what you need if you wake up in the middle of a battle. It'll teleport. It'll tell it'll teleport you. Well when you log out it'll just But you have what you need if you teleport into a fight, right? You got some food, you got your weapons. Yeah. Your inventory sufficiently cleared out. Howie from Canada too? Yeah, he's from Western or no Eastern Canada. Oh, Ontario. Place I know in Ontario. Yeah, did you invest your points? What'd you put what what'd you put your points into? Okay. 
You can always look up on Google builds and stuff like that too. What kind of there's like a simulator or whatever. There's a potion you can make that respects you. Don't forget, you can see a little plus sign because of your armor. So the, your stat's not really that. It's just uh, the, on, the uh, stat is added with the plus 5 from the armor. Do like some of the ones you think might be important, like repairing your iron pickaxe. Um, would probably be a good one. You, you can only repair things you can build, right? So, torch. Can't tell if this thing upgraded yet. It's the same to me still. Did this thing change? Is Ontario more popular than BC? Which one is the best? Um, they offer different things. You haven't heard BC? BC's been on the news a lot lately because we're on fire constantly. My power went out three times today because of fires. Dale, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. Am I still on the camera? Good. Ontario. Has Ontario been in the news for anything? Oh. Hey, Howard, has, B has Ontario been in the news for anything recently? I don't think so. They got the... They got the COVID somewhat under control, so they're not bad for that. But BC's, BC's been on the news a lot because of fires. You know, like, there's entire towns that burn down. And then there's residential schools discovered hundreds of bodies underneath them. That's all in BC, so... I mean, that, that hit international news. That's like, you know, disappointing for Canada. Yeah, I think so. I don't know how that works between, between your own.
There, it looks like this thing. Still crafting. Still going. Quarter, quarter left. I'm gonna go stand on the stove some more. Forest fires and dead bodies. Well, the dead bodies. What happened there was there was uh, residential schools, and what those were is, those were like you know the the uh, abor Aboriginal like the native kids. Um, when Canada st started. And all the way up to about 40 years ago, they put these kids in these schools to try to train the native out of them, essentially. Like, they were, that's, that's pretty brutal. And they, uh, and basically a lot went missing. So they found hundreds and hundreds of bodies under the, the under the schools recently. Because, uh, they're, you know, these, uh, schools which were, you know, run by the Catholics mostly, and then some other churches but government sanctioned um they they uh you know they 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 abused those kids man they did experiments on them they you know killed them there was all sorts of bad stuff that happened at them you know like really really bad if you if you want to read about it search up residential schools in Canada and Canada and you'll see some bad history there man where we were pretty ugly back then, apparently. And, you know, um, I wouldn't, that's pretty general statement that you're saying, Maverick. Grant, thank you for following. I think most people are good people in general, but uh, I think that there's, there's some people that abuse their positions of power. But, the Catholics were largely, they're trying to get the Pope to apologize. Actually, and they didn't want to apologize or even release the school records. Um, but I guess the Pope is going to have a meeting with the elders. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty nasty what happened with those. Like abuse, different abuses and stuff like that. There's some bad things that went down. Did this thing change yet? I can't even tell. This must have changed, eh? Look at it, it looks gold now. Looks a bit bigger now, I think. Yeah, it's done. Look at this thing, man. It's, it has a big beam of light going from it now. Now we can build beacon thing, things too. What do those need? Brick and brimstone. Hey, that's not too bad, actually. And a phoenix, phoenix engraved stone. Uh, a phoenix engraved sword. Well, that's kind of interesting, eh? And lingering X essence. If we get some more lingering essence, we can see what that phoenix sword is like. Or we can look it up on Google, one of the two. Our fridges are getting full, man. I can only build the smaller fridges. I think I have to build some more of them. You can go by the Temple of Mitra again, Axeming. What's my religion? I'd just say Christian. I'm not like super religious or anything. If you want some clothes, we can make you some clothes, but we need to kill more people for it. I wonder if these statues of guidance uh, can be picked up again. 20 brick and... That noise. 30 brimstone. Those uh, porches, I was thinking that... Why you said that if you don't like Catholic, but uh, then why do you why do you keep being a Catholic? It's Axming is playing, and I don't know how he might have logged out. I think.
So we got some brick. We got some brimstone. Oops. Did that much. The 30 brimstone, didn't it? That's a brimstone, actually. No, it's just a single player game. There's servers and stuff you can get, but. Um, take a look at this beam coming out of this. Isn't that cool? Now you'll be able to find our base. Because you, you can see where the, the, the high end of the base is now. And there's a way to summon Mitra, but it destroys the, the temple. Alright, let's see what these statues are about. Statues of Guidance. We craft nine of them. Craft one for now. We'll see if it's cooler than the other things. There's three of us playing, yeah, we we're all questing together. They all had NPCs with us. We we're like a little group of water hounds. And we got enough leather to fill fill um, a leather shop there for for a while there. So one of my plans was I was thinking, you know where those torches are on the bridge? I was going to see how these Statue of Guidances looked. And I suspect I can't pick them up after, so I'm just going to put one down for now. Hope I can build underneath it. Yeah, we gotta get a bunch of shaped wood going. I think. But look, you can see the stat, or you can see the the glow. Cool, eh? Doesn't matter where you are. I think Yogg, the Yogg uh, Tier 3 temple also does something like that, but it's red or something like that. Yeah, well, I'll still have to put, like, an area for it, though. I don't know if this will be too close or not, but maybe in this corner somewhere. I gotta build the foundation, and I need lots of rock for that. Why is this gate stuck open? Did somebody tear it off? Oh no, it's there. We'll put it... In this area, we'll pick, take that up. Try it here and see what it looks like. My knife is in dire need of repair. Well, they're not very big. That looks straight and centered. There it is. Pick it up. Oh, I can pick it up even. Nice. 
Hey, do you guys think that's cooler than those things? Yeah, if you look on my screen, if if you're if you're not, but. Does figure I could build like some sort of arch thing over it? Even. How many are there total here anyway? Three, four, five, six. Uh, it, for shaped wood, it's like seven shaped wood for everything, and I need build a carpenter's bench and I need to build this other bench and that sort of lots if we want to build another wheel for beside that uh, one base um, we also need like 200 insulated wood which means a lot of that you know that yellow stuff that you get when you're making bark and then hard brick and steel reinforcements and stuff like that I guess we build the Durketto now. Built the fireball technically. Alchemist bench, 200 hard brick, 100 insulated wood. Mitra's done now, so I can cross that one off. I'll check right now, ask me. Things I can build. If we get the benches all maximized, that helps feeds everything up too, because they use less materials. And if we can get a tier four carpenter, that'll help a lot too. Garrison, blacksmith. Hey, I got the greater wheel of pain. I didn't realize that. Is that the one? 200. 200. Yeah, we can clean out that one camp. If we can make one of these axe bing, and then put it by the camp over by uh, the Emmy's Beacon, they tier, they spawn random tier fours there, right? So we could, we could fill up with... Uh, Raids people that are tier four. That's where I was thinking to put torches along the way and and then uh um if you look on my map on my screen it is right here. So we basically would follow along and you remember there's that weird looking thing on the cliff there and there's that big ravine you just kind of go straight up and then you're right there if we lit that we lit this path right here you don't get the mission of this uh game it's to build and dominate build that's the tagline i think it's 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 like violent version of Minecraft, yeah. It's based on the Conan movies. Um, maybe you can join. It's not a we're on Xbox. Um, the mission of the game is to build, and technically the end goal is to try to um, get yourself out of exile, and then I guess. If you do that, then it kills your character. Like, it erases your character. So you have the choice of, you know, leaving and then having your character killed. Or to go and, uh, um, uh, stay and dominate. Yeah, it's very nice looking, isn't it? 
And I'm gonna put these these fire thing these ones up along these stairs, I think. But there's this thing called the purge, and there's a big monster where that storm swirling storm is. I think you gotta kill that and and it's not too easy. Oh yeah, I was gonna check to see what the, the different benches cost are. So you know when the time comes, Axming, you're curious, these tier three materials. Each one of those squares needs like four shaped woods, needs the fifteen hardened bricks, and three steel reinforcements. So each square, each wall, each square. So that's why I always need lots of brick and wood, you know? And we need lots of insulated wood too, of course, but uh, that means we have to bake, uh, bake the wood on. So your 2000 wood converts to 400 uh, it shaped, shaped wood. Where's my guy like fists up? This uh, leather straps almost busted for me. I'm gonna throw it in the recycling bench. Grab a new one after. Funny you can't pick up the fountains, but you can pick up these other statues. Alrighty. So it gives those leather straps give one back and you recycle them. How much do they cost to make? Three. Okay, well, we get a more third back, eh? Dry wood, um, with the dryer. All right, here's the dryer. That out.
Eighth wood. Got lots of arrows. Wrong way. Oh. Yes. Oh, me other be in there. Maverick liked watching me cook in this game. It's like Martha Stewart. Turn this off for now. They're still making those? Crap. Hey, what are those fridges made out of then? I think they make another fridge, I think. Let's check out these things. Great carpenter's bench. Three hundred insulated wood. Fifty steel reinforcements. And two hundred twines. Too bad. I had to run to the washroom? Oh, okay. Well, I thought you were gone, so I just... I figured I just left the party. If you want to go back and... Me to go back in the party, I can. I thought you said bye, so... Um... So the alchemist bench is 200 hard brick, 100 wood... 100 and 100 alchemist base. Well, then we have a, there we go, there's the tannery. 200 hardened brick. 100 insulated wood. 50 steel reinforcements. And 25 hardened leather. Different. I don't even know how to hard, harden leather. You gonna watch your show? Oh, okay. Yeah, you have to get the skills. Um, you have to take the skills to be able to build those temples, too. 
Have a good rest of the team. Well, thank you so much for playing and hanging out. You can build two of these, each of these ones. There's fast versions and there's slow versions. Oh, and the delving bench. What was the delving bench? Let's see here, a bench for experimentation. That's 30 insulated wood. Thirty-eight Arden brick and twenty Eldurium. I wonder if we have enough for that. I think a new new bench. There's also a horse bench too somewhere, but I don't know where the heck it is. Maybe it's at an artisan table. Here's where the bar components are, tavern counters. See, these are just 75 rock. So these made out of that's a wall torch. Iron bars. Made out of bone. There's the arrows and stuff. Harpies kiss arrows. I could have sworn I grabbed the uh thing for building saddle tables too. Crap, Saddler's work table. I got them. <laughs> I just didn't see a Saddler's work table, I guess.
Precision, PQRS, Shellfish, Preservation Box. I'm going to write that down here. There's 20 hardened steel. Ooh. Insulated wood. Two black ice. That's pretty easy. Um, We got twenty two. Wonder if I can break down Elderium. Okay. Hard brick, hard rock, insulated water. Steel reinforcement. Or just the regular brick. Go. Make a couple of those fridges. Here's the improved tannery. 
Mm. Two of those. Need some hard brick. And delving. I can make a delving bench. Although I still haven't found that other table. Like that. So we need for that one insulated wood. We need some hundred steel reinforcements. Glass. That one we need steel reinforcements and two hundred twines. Holy crap. I still didn't see the set uh PQRS set uh Battle bench though, EQRST. I don't know where that is, eh? This handcraft. Weird, I don't see it. I wonder how you make hardened leather. What's at the tanner's table? Although I still don't see Saddler's work table, you'd think it'd be right there. I 
These are all building things. Infected torch. Bracketed torch. Banding torch. Needs a bunch of torches and sticks. All right, so you need a bunch of torches for that. I think Garrison is a quick one. Oh, to reduce the cost of making armor. That's the slower one. That one's like 25 hardened leather. EQRST, it should be right there. I'm mixed in with these animals, is it? Hmm. Oh. Why does my mouse want to move? Can't find saddler table. It's by the sandstone pieces, if not by the other crafting tables.
There it is. It's like mixed in. That's weird. Hey, there's rope bridges in there too. Fifty shaped wood, fifty twine, fifty leather. Ready? I think we have a crap ton of twine somewhere. There's lots of twine there. There's thick leather, glass, All right, I gotta find that, get that saddler's bench going. Lots of leather here. And it's over by the sandstone. It's been eluding us. There we go. We'll need to build more twine for something else there, but. Precision twinery, that's hard uh, leather. Plant based, it's called. So. 
50 steel reinforcements and 25. Hardened wood or hardened leather. Twenty five hardened leather, and I think I got to do it at this table. I don't think I can do it. Hmm, weird. Tanner's table. Tanner's table. Not on my Tanner's table. You're using more framework. Oops, we don't want to click on a video. I just want to look it up. In order to craft hardened leather, you need a, to get a Tanner's table by collecting 100 wood. Then you need that. Put all that together for eight seconds to create the hardened leather. So you need leather, thick leather. So we need two thick leather. If we want 25, we need 50. Take the elephant and rhino hide out. We don't want it mixing just in case. All right, we need that. And then we need alchemical base and oil. I have some alchemical base. We only need 50 of it though. Funny it doesn't have a recipe for it. We need oil. Lots of oil, so. I'm still carrying all those statues, too. Do I need the thrall on here, maybe?
Doesn't seem to make a difference. Alright, we'll put them there. So it says you need... According to this, in order to hard, uh, craft hardened leather and Conan XLs, you need to get a tanner's table by collecting 100 wood then you need leather times five. Um, thick leather times two. Alchemical base times two. And oil times five. So I technically need a lot more oil, but... Uh, not sure why it's not letting me any. these benches out How big is this thing got a little wizard with it What other benches did I make? Nothing else yet. I have a lot of crap. I made the Saddler's bench. What's that? Alright, let's put that somewhere. Not very big. Where does a saddler's bench make sense? Right here, eh? There? Plantation barrel can go elsewhere? Dying thing's pretty big. Big. A little bit of space issue here. Put it near the front. the mouse
that'll take anyway. Wine, iron bars, and leather. Terrible. I thought I was carrying those statues, to be honest. Not. Create the alchemal bench. Precise. Precise alchem alchemal bench. Are we short on oh no reinforcement Makes ourselves even heavier. I got a couple of those ice boxes in my inventory somewhere too. Oh. Precision carpenter bench. We need 200 twine as well. And then the plant based tanner. Reduces materials cost. So that's the one I want then. I can't figure out how to get the hardened leather, the tannery. Figure that out still. What was the carpenter's bench? Precision? That was the 200 twine one. Looks like we need a pile of insulated wood as well.
300 of those on the way. Oh, we should, like, start up the twine, too. Might even make it fa better with, uh, be less materials, I guess. Three hundred twines. Still got one hundred forty three bark on me. Eh? Still giving her. Once we get that uh, thing, we can drop that glass, though. I wonder if it's like on the armor or his bench or something. This thing doesn't have nothing. Oh, it has a glove. I got 11 sandstone walls here. How big is this thing? I don't think I really need the hardened steel bars on me, to be honest. For the shaped wood. Considering we're making twine. Garden leather, bone and not on inner. Okay, this oh, is a, a video. Doesn't really tell you when it's not when it's a video sometimes.
or make sure you're on the tanner's table, not just any tannery bench. Yeah, it looks like there's different things on their picture. They have those ones. Going all. Says on uh, this one here, didn't have the update. Trying to tell you that info. Make so eventually it's supposed to be at the tanner's table, but it looks like it's at the improved armor's bench. So maybe I need this stuff and need to go to the improved armor's bench. Kind of lame if that's the case. Wiki tells you one place. It there. Pretty alphabetical, too. This one, maybe? Look at every bench. Oh, 
Don't see it there. You think it'd be here? Is there an improved tanner's table? Use man. Anybody knows? Feel free to mention where you do it on the Xbox to get hardened leather. I can't find freaking. Improved tannery. Improved blacksmith. Oh. This one's the one I have here. Vision. That's the one I need hard and leather. What's the precision carpenters? Bench need. That's the twine one. I need 200 twine. I got that. Lots of insulated wood and hardened brick. Seventy-four hardened brick. Eighty-nine hardened brick. See how big this alchemist bench is, I guess. Bad as I thought it'd be. Fit here, but it does sorta. Pick this up, I guess. Front is on that thing.
That's got to be the back. Holy crap, look at all the stuff in here now. It's on the proper side, so that's positive. Goes back. Where'd that fermentation barrel go? Yes. A lot of space. Guess we could put the old one out here. I mean, it doesn't. It's not going to get really used, I don't think. get quite like that. Looks like it actually has the same amount of stuff. Oh. Wonder if we can make that plant-based tannery now. I guess we need more insulated wood probably. More brick.
precision tannery. What was the plant-based one then? Reduced. I probably built the wrong alchemist table, didn't I? Like trades. Hopefully, I built the right one. Great alchemy bench. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, the precision alchemist bench is zero crafting speed, but it's 50% cost reduction for stuff. So it should cost less. And then the, uh, precision tannery. Oh, the plant-based tannery. Precision tannery is less fuel, but it crafts faster. So, plant-based tannery is the one we want. You think precision sounds like the thing you'd want, but... Okay, that does we can't make that one yet. And then there's precision, I think, carpenter's bench. What are we short on there? Steel? Precision carpenter. So precision carpenter's bench is 50% cost reduction on aerials. Whereas trade is just faster. You done making Ingots? Oh no, you're still working on them. Go, dude. What is paused? It was off. That's great. <laughs> All right. We need wood, twine, hardened brick, insulated wood. I don't think we need normal brick, do we? Glass anymore? Oil? Alchemal? We need that stone pick at all. I 
mean these actually these leathers go in the other bench Damn, my guy can really move now. I made a couple fridges in here. Yeah, I didn't put it all back. Before I made them. the black ice hardened brick and that's why I had a bunch of regular brick on me soil though fish I'm over encumbered again, darn it. Dragon powder seems expensive still.
Excuse me. What's up, Conan and the team? Howie and Axbang went to bed. I've been building benches. more of these, eh? Contact to the ground there. There. A bonfire on one side. The other one on the other side. What these guys are doing. Still working away. One of them's almost done. Think that looks better there, Maverick.
And put some lights or some torches on the outside or something eventually. put some more going up to keep it consistent eh one falls in then you know for now. Uh -huh. I am, yes. The carpenter's bench that needed all that time. I think I'm alone now. Two hundred hard brick. Three hundred insulated wood, fifty steel, and two hundred twines. Thirty steel reinforcement. Still working on them. idea where this thing's gonna go in the end could close this off and then have another full bench here four though that's the only thing
There we go. <clears throat> we need a sandstone triangle foundation. Craft one. Where's it? Already. That didn't do me any good. Build a sandstone triangle. Put it there. I don't know if I can. I don't have enough rock. Rock there. Now let's try. So I could actually go out a couple, I guess. A little more rock. Oh, it's wood, I'm sure it on, darn it. Oh, I have those fridges on me. I... Huh. What is that?
There we go. We need to split the ice. Man, that temple looks way better now, eh? I wonder if I just did it on the tannery. That would make a difference, I don't know. Axeman made 11 walls previously. I don't know if that carpenter's bench will fit in there or not, but if we make it. We will try. They're like four short, I think. Uh, yeah, we need 50.
to make more insulated wood. Maybe I should wait. I might move that over there and then maybe that other bench will fit in that corner. Seems to fit okay there. There's where my shield was I, that I was talking about earlier. That master repair kit. Don't know where the master repair get. There it is. I don't remember what else was in there. There's a little bit of fiber in there. Wine, probably. So, carpenter bench. It's 200 twine. One fifty five. Before, I guess, two oh one. Well, that's close enough. Maybe we could fit it right here or something. Fireball here, if that gets knocked down, it's just knocked down, but not being used anyway. See if we have enough. Five more now. Enough. There's a precision one. Remember now, it's been eight zillion years. Yeah, 
50% cost reduction, that's what I like. And the only thing now is that hardened leather, I'm not sure about that. Well, that needs 200 joint. Oh, that's the great carpenter bench. Plant based. Annery. 50 steel reinforcements, 200 hardened bricks, 150 insulated wood. Give on them go here, plenty. There used to be a nice deck, but now it is not a deck anymore. We did the space. Because you need the other one. I've done that. Where's the... Oh, here's the other armor's bench right here. All right. I think that thing there up there is lighting everything up. We still got to figure out what the heck. Oh. Like, what the heck, man? Hmm. Arden leather. How the heck do you do that? Arden leather on Xbox. For Conan Exa. Found hardened leather located under epic armors. What? Is that in the feats here? Is that the problem? That's lame if that's the case, but you know.
There's hardened leather right there. What the crabs are doing there, man? That's a ripoff. So I can't make that table unless I get this first. That's kind of weird order. You're always looking forever for that. Hmm. Lame. I can walk again, finally. Trying to build all the top-end benches and... Can't build them. That big. Oh, it's really a tall tree. In fact. <clears> hmm. <throat> Well, there we go, eh? Have it into the wall yet? Right there, that's not too bad. Kind of funny to have a giant log there, but whatever. Thing build anything good? Weapon handle, that's new. Decorative beams. Stables. Okay, this bow is, uh, oh, it needs the Elder Iridium. Dry wood and resin. Grape wood is five. That one's also dry wood and resin. And shape wood is seven. So the place to make shape wood is the other bench. This one actually doesn't speed you up any. Oh, I can make weapon handles here too. Never noticed it before, I guess. Well, that's 12 Elderium for that bow over here. You need sturdy string as well, however the heck you make that. Seven brick shape wood twine.
So I don't know that freaking this stuff is cost the same anyway. But it's actually faster to make on that other bench. I guess the advantage is in some of the other ones though. Those are less, right? Two and two. It's three and three. Moderate savings, I guess. I guess it doesn't matter. This stuff's the same price here. One and one. So. Maybe once there's a, a master carpenter or something on there. My guy moving so slow all the time. I don't get it. Weighing them down. 800 rock and a bunch of wood. Dry wood, do. Where's the dry wood? These bricks in here. They'll need lots and lots of insulated wood though, mind you. Take 600 back. 
And I'll go make some foundations and stuff here. Get further shape. I need some more sandstone fence foundations. What's the update? No update. I just sit here waiting for you to come back. Built uh, a couple of new tables. Right. Why aren't those placing? I don't get it. You think you should play? You don't have an Xbox. Then you'd be making BTS stages all over the place. <laughs> no BTS stages allowed. Did you ever watch Conan the movie? You should watch Conan the movie. You probably enjoy watching this game more. I watched it today, in fact. I watched the Jason Momoa one. I didn't have the Arnold Schwarzenegger one handy. Why can't I put that there? That's weird. Oh, I gotta put a base underneath it. What year was that movie? I don't know. It was a few years ago. Not very long. Oops. Not really what I want to do, but... See if it works or not. that out of it and put this one here work you haven't seen his Conan yet Is he better than Arnold? No, he, he the movie flopped. Arnold is classic, so it's... I don't know if it's hard... It's hard to say if he's better. Jeez, scared me. Need more plant fiber with the crap.
I mean, he did an okay job. There's nothing wrong with it. Hmm. I'm not sure how to get that one. When the foundations don't go low enough is the problem, you know? Yeah, I want to put it on that one, but can't be equal. It's going to be something like that. Down one from the left, I guess. Disappeared on me, eh? That's what we want. Here, it's what we want. You can be able to walk anywhere. Hey, my battery died. I had a heck of a time today. The power went out three times. There's a fires here. And uh had to um reset up some stuff for the TV to be able to show through the streaming card. When it lets you put it down sometimes and not other times, you know? Not enough resources. What the crap am I out of? It's like rock. Rock over there. I'm in a I'm in a big enough city that uh, there'd be some big trouble, <coughs> but um, I mean you know you just got to be aware. shelter while I'm in a house right now if it gets down if the fires get into where I am then it's gonna be a whole lot of problem hopefully that doesn't happen because that would suck
That wheel stopped? There's still three on there. The food? 200 food. I had to go right down underwater to build some of this, you know. It's like this last one's kind of even, isn't it? There. I put that triangle one there if that would work. Looks like drop it from my inventory. Pretty some epic stairs, eh? This thing stopped. I don't think that's a good enough angle for that. You have to. It's a lot of work.
We go there with that. The doorway right there, you know. This is all fairly straight now, you know. I think we can probably go up with a wall there, can't we? <coughs> Excuse me. And like the doorway be there. Based on the bottom one there. there. Oh, it's different heights. Crap. Or make a door frame. Possible to snap it up higher. Or we'll base it on the higher spot. Close, I guess. We can't put it there because it's too close. Oh, stacking it. Funny, you'd think that wall would be based on this other side, eh?
that. There's base on their side. Time. Weird. It'd be pretty tough to go out there. Maybe go across. With these foundations. That's pretty nice and even, eh? I think I can make them like that though. I don't know if that'll work. Same height, I think. Am I out of rock again?
What am I carrying so much of? That's crazy. Oh, that's where he put his stuff down. Although I think I want to go one higher here. We're going to do a five by five over here somewhere. The thing about this part is that I don't like how it kind of cuts off, but <coughs> I'm not sure if there's a lot I can do about it. Put the wall there. all of these sort of it gets a little tough spots Very nice and decorated, but going higher. Can't build on that stuff there. I think that's the height I want to go. Get the archer guys.
Oh, like 30 potions? What the heck? I don't need that many. It does change the look of the bridge quite a bit. Why well, wouldn't let me build there originally? Oh. 
Maybe we could do five there. Do the triangle one, I think. Hmm. Looks like that would go good straight.
Thing that'll fit there. Next one. Ah, crap. Darn resources again. I don't know if I can actually put a wall here. This might have to be a block. That could be a doorway or that could be a doorway, but here has to probably be a block. Maybe a doorway. Block will block it off though. Four hundred eight wood and a rock. Build one foundation. Right there. And we could like moving guard. It makes it easy to break the bond. Hopefully, it questions you. Crap. Yeah, maybe I could step up here.
four. I can go farther than that. Maybe. One, two, three, four. Five. That kind of works there. That's underground for part of it. I could go five, five by five there. I have enough iron to even fix that. Did pretty good. Holy cow, that drained my health like fast. Crazy. We got one, two, three, four, five. Five, five here.
I don't think that works actually. Maybe. Gotta use a a roof piece though. That won't fit in there, I don't think. Hmm. I think there's any way to really fit that together better. I guess this would all have to be uh, rectangles or triangles all the way to the end. Don't, don't think that would necessarily still work. I have to go to there anyway. Maybe it might work. These are rectangles right there.
Yeah, that doesn't work there either. Crap. I think it should work, but it doesn't. It cuts off there no matter what. That would work as a square. This is matter right there. Kind of like that anyway. Yeah, I'll go with walls there, I guess. Sandstone walls. Maybe I could put big pillars there or something, eh? That would look cool, maybe.
doesn't work on that side, but. I can't tell. I get to that one spot. That works, sorta. Almost done watching Gunpowder Milkshake. Good. I hope you're enjoying it. Yeah, I think I want to put kind of too high both sides like that. See some rooms over here. Probably put another thingamabopper right there, eh? Lots of action, pack killings, drama, comedy. Good. I think that this should be far enough away from that one. Yog one, or not Yog, uh, Derketo. We should be able to put one Yog in this area.
Joel, no, I didn't see it. I saw it in the in the service, but I, I didn't try it. Should be able to put it right around here somewhere. So we gotta have places to go, right? Probably right there. I think I should be able to put a doorway uh, right here or here, one or two. Wall beside it, maybe. So put the pillar right here. You think Fear Street's good? There. This area will be kind of more or less straight, I think. Ground's more or less flat, I think. And this will be a room. Some kind. Well, I don't know about the hole here. What I can really do about that. But. Too big, you know. This will be where the archers kind of stand, you know, every couple of blocks, I guess. Could even leave that as sort of a courtyard, you know? Well, think about it. Well, I'm done. I'm going to bed. Very tired. Thank you for hanging out. Hope you guys come back tomorrow, 7 o'clock Pacific time. Maybe a little bit earlier. Exclamation notified to be alerted. Thank you for everyone who liked it. Shared. Maverick, thank you. Dan, thank you for following earlier. All results of these movies here was training day one with 50%. Everything else got 17%. That's interesting.
and uh, we'll put that in the poll results. There we go. Thank you for participating. Make sure you check out my YouTube. Link is in the video description. Have a good night.